And greetings, world. I am Resplendent Seraph, and today I am playing Hookie from work. Granted, I filed out a form and you know asked my boss permission to, but still, Hookie, even allowed Hookie is allowed. Uh, and so I decided with uh, today being my birthday, as I leveled up to 45, that uh, I would stay home and play video games all day. Um, and of course, I didn't account for sleeping in, but I totally slept into. So, so far, my birthday is off to a very, very nice start. And as I realized, I left my closet open because my cat wanted to be in there. So, yeah, forgive the open closet there over there. But, uh, yeah, and we got a nice little bright Florida sun. It's actually not all that bright outside, but, you know, how cameras look and all that. What can you do? Limited, limited space in my little home studio. Uh... <laughs> If I had to do it over again, I would not point the camera directly at a window, but such as it is. And it is nice when we see really nice uh, sunsets. So, um, you know, even though I don't think I would have done it had I had a, I wouldn't have done it this way if I had to do it over again. But there are definitely some perks of this. So, yeah, today I'm going to play some Earthbound. And I really, really love this game, um, depending on what like when you ask me like what hey sir what's your favorite rpg of all time it could either be this it could be final fantasy 6 which at the time was final fantasy 3 uh chrono trigger or persona 5 and any given time any one of those four to me is like i could sort of feel that but i think i think in my heart it's this one and uh, it's been a while since I've had a chance to play it because I haven't had an actual Super Nintendo in a while. And Freakbot has my uh, physical cartridge, which I'm glad uh, it went over to him so that he could um, he could play it. So I, I, it has a good home. <laughs> I, I'm glad it I'm glad it lives where it lives now. But at the same time, uh, it is going to be nice to go back in time and play this a little bit. So without any further ado, let's fire up some Earthbound because we got character creation and that will probably take us a little while. Because Seraph, even though I known I was gonna do this for a couple of days, basically all week, at the same time, I, uh, <laughs> I still can't make up my mind on some of the character names that I'm gonna wanna do. So that should grab in a second. And then we'll see if I want to fiddle with it any. Come on, buddy. Let's go. There it goes. There we are. Let's see what our volume's looking like. If it's too loud. Although those those levels look good. Earthbound. The war against G Gigas. There we go. That should be good. It might be a little on the loud side as I look at it, though. That's a sneeze. Of course I have to sneeze. <laughs> Ew. Ew. All right. So let's... Let's dial this down a little bit. There we go. Just, just a hair, just adjusting it down ever so slightly. But let's also, um, I think let's do this. Let's add a little bigger. Yeah, that works. Perfect. That looks good. All right. It's got a great soundtrack. So we're going back in time to uh, 1995. I think 94 was the Japanese release and 95 was the US release. This gives us a very brief preview of certain places. But uh, yeah, let's do a new game here. I'm gonna get started. Please select text speed. Yeah, let's go with fast text speed. Uh, yeah, we'll go with stereo sound. We have a couple of choices here. I can never really decide. I think we'll go with plane here. We can always change this. Alright. And after much deliberation, decided to go with the normal Ness here. 
And we could go the, through the don't cares and see what happens. Yeah, Paula is kind of your standard name for Paula. I'm probably just going to go the standard names here. I rarely did that growing up. But, um... Yeah, this will be Jeff. Yeah, we'll just go with Jeff. You know what, let's just do the standard names. That way everybody knows who they are. Alright, but you... I think we'll start naming you guys here. Oh, Fido. Standard don't care name is King. Alright, favorite homemade food. Let's see what these are. Steak, pie, pasta, cake, eggs, bread, salmon. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go with pasta. Favorite thing. Now, the standard of these is like rockin'. That's probably what we'll go with. Hammer, love, gifts, slime. Hello, cat. She woke up. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with rock. That's kind of, that ends up being the name of your special thing. Of your special uh, ESP power. So this game is... One of the interesting things about this game is that um, your main cast, a lot of them have psychic powers. That's very rare in this game. That's one of the things that makes them very, very potent. Well, Ness has, other than Starstorm, probably the most potent offensive psychic power in the game, and that ends up being called the coolest thing. Uh, Rocket in this case. Yeah, let's do this. Let's get this epic stra Let's get this epic saga started here. Yeah, just going with the default names. I'd, I've been thinking about it all week. And greetings, Freakbot. How are you, man? What was really funny is, uh, Jeff, so I used to name a lot of these character names like my friends in high school. And so, uh, Jeff ended up being Nade. And what I didn't, wishing I wasn't here, I can't, I hear you, bro. <laughs> yeah, I took, used my personal day to take today off. If I hadn't slept in, I would have started much earlier. But it's a beautiful day out. Ended up getting like a late lunch or a early lunch, late breakfast. So we'll see if I end up taking a break for some food later. Just like this, this normal kid. <laughs> Just like that. It begins. I don't really remember. Okay, so that's for the check there. None of these other buttons work yet. Yeah, it brings up the menu. We can talk to, we can check. What's up, cat? My cat's already meowing at me. <laughs> I just start streaming and my cat wakes up to meow. I gave you food. You want to go on the you, you want to go on the screen and patio? Uh, come here, cat. Come here, cat. She cap she, she uh so I woke up earlier to get breakfast and um let her out on the patio. Come here, Kenny. Come on. Hello. Hey, bro. Did the sound wake you up too? Were you freaked out? <laughs> so there's our sister whose name escapes me at the moment unless she might not even have a name I don't know, think about it it's been like 10 years since I played this game can't seem to fall back asleep no surprise there ah but we could already get a present we'll do that cracked bat inside mess takes it we're gonna need that hello cat so let's go back into our menu uh, equip yep we've got a cracked that is our equipped item. And so uh, there's a funny piece of dialogue later with Jeff, where if you have it as somebody you know, like in this case, Nade, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, a friend of mine also from high school, Woodley, we would laugh like hell uh, at, at that. Once we, once we get there, I'll, we'll, we'll go through a little bit of memory lane. But uh, yeah, just going through the standard names, just because um, if anybody hops in and they're not really familiar with the stream, they'll, they'll know the character names and all that. So yeah, we're just going to go through the standard Earthbound experience. 
What was that noise? Ness, you don't seem scared. Are you nuts? And now you want to go check it out? Uh, okay. You'll sneak out of your room anyway, even if I asked you not to. At least change out of your jammies before you go. <laughs> so we have the coolest mom ever. In this game. Oh, and there's another sneeze. Oh, good grief. Seraph, why am I having to sneeze here? Good grief. Be careful. Come home as soon as you can. Hey, dog. Besides humans, dogs also sleep at night. Why aren't you asleep? And why can we talk to animals? <laughs> but I think that's actually our psychic power at, at work. Because, yeah, we do talk to animals. And nobody else seems things seems to think it's strange. So no, no activity on the phone yet. That's eventually how we'll save the game. I want to return home, but the road is closed. People are taking this meteorite situation too seriously. One of police are infamous for closing roads if something's going on. We're going for the world record. <laughs> Gotta love the, the lampshading of the plot device here. Don't panic. It's just a what meteorite that who fell. I just want to what go home. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, the one at police, police here keep us um, nice and confined to the north part of town at the moment. One of the things I really like about this game is exploring and talking to all the NPCs. It's part of the charm of the game is to see how the dialogue changes over uh, over time. Did you hear the Big Bang? I think a meteor had landed nearby. I want to be the first to see it, okay? I'm going to try to be the first to get there. And then, he, of course, he's just running in place. But it would be pretty annoying to have to rush and beat somebody up there. Hey, Pokey. Oh, hi. Pokey, my brother, ran out here to chase after a police car. He said, Picky. You should stay home. So I'm home watching our house. Mom and dad aren't home yet. They went out to a elegant restaurant. <laughs> yeah, Picky is cool. So here's the next door neighbors. They live in a very, very opulent house compared to mine. And we live literally just next door. And I love the, I love the OST for this game. But, uh, yeah, sorry you're at, still at, uh, still on campus, Freak Bot, but thank you for crashing and hanging out. So at least, uh, we'll have some fun here on stream. Don't you know what time it is? Get your butt home. Pronto! Thankfully, they don't set up the actual blockade here. A meteorite has landed. The sharks are running wild in town. You kids are wandering around, and I'm hungry. I hate my job. <laughs> it's dangerous to go to the hills. <laughs> Jesus. At first, I went, immediately went to Eager Raptors. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's dangerous to go to the hilltop. Even if I advise you not to go, it won't stop you, will it? I love how they know that, and so they just don't bother to try to stop you. And so in this game, we got all sorts of presents. Those end up being like treasure chests. Hey, you, don't you know what time it is? So we're going to go to the top here. This meteorite is what completely sets the um, plot in motion. <laughs> yeah, they're, yeah, they're kind of like our campus police. <laughs> Let's open the present. There's a bread roll inside. Ness takes it. So food ends up being um, kind of like um, health packs. Essentially, they, they rejuvenate your health. This dude is cool. Hey, Ness. Hiya, buddy. A meteorite fell down and went boom. It was a real mess for a while. I was fine because I always eat garlic and work out to help make my body stronger. However, the weaker citizens probably fainted. I also want to tell you... Whoops. I almost told you about my... Uh, by the way, Ness, did you uh, check my billboard? I wrote the message myself. That's my real job, you know. I'm a billboard guy. Why don't you check out my work? Yeah, his work is making billboards. I never explored his house later in the game. I always forgot. <laughs> Oh, we we will we will definitely check it out in a second. Treasure Hunter. This is Liar Exaggerates House. <laughs> I think the first time I read that, I didn't quite get it. I was like, Lear? What? <laughs> that my, uh, meteorite looks different than usual. It's strange and marvelous, as well as mysterious. Ooh. Hey, Ness. Don't be rubbernecking. You're getting in the cops. Uh, oops. I mean, officers this way. You can go home now. Tomorrow, I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. This freaking guy. Nice timing, Ness. Will you do something about Pokey? He's driving me nuts. Are you two friends? Yeah. You live in the house next to his, I see. 
Clear out, get out of my way. Clear out, get out of my way. <laughs> Clear out, out of way, get out of my, oops, my mistake. I mean, get out of my way. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I think he just, yeah, he just tells you the same thing. We can't do anything about Pokey. Sorry guys, you're stuck with Pokey. Hit Pokey, whatever. Fucking Porky. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, Pokey sucks. He is he is truly a vile NPC. The game did a really nice job making him hateable. And he is, I fucking hate Pokey with a passion. His brother Picky is cool, but Pokey sucks balls. And there's our mom. Welcome home, Ness. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. Scoot off to bed now. Okay. There's really nothing else to do. Yeah, Picky's the only decent member of that family. He's he's ironically enough the black sheep in that he's cool. <laughs> Man, that knock. <laughs> what an annoying knock. My land, who could be knocking at the door at this time of night? Will you answer it? I've got these fleas sucking me dry, so I'm just gonna lie still for now. Uh, what do I gotta say? When I took Picky to the place where the meteor landed, now why you would take Picky to the place the meteor landed, who knows, right? Oh, good evening, ma'am. You're looking lovely as usual. Anyway. As I was saying, the police that were guarding her meteorite landings left suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know, the sharks. They're the local ruffians. <laughs> they were really going wild. Suddenly I noticed that Picky was gone. I blame the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. When my dad gets back, I know I'm going to get it. You're my bestest friend. Won't you help me find Picky? I'd love to tell him no. Okay, good buddy. Uh, let's blow this popsicle stand. Before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, ma'am? I know the dog's unreliable, but you should really take Fido along. The cracked bat in Tracy's room could help out at a time like this. I already picked it up. No matter what anyone says, you're a courageous, strong boy. You're my very own natural-born fighter. You'll go far. Remember to go for it. But I think you should change out of your jammies before you leave. I'll do everything I can to help you. Good luck on your adventure. You might get hungry along the way. So here's a cookie. And we got the cookie. You can also leave anything you don't need with me, which is completely invaluable uh, because you only have a very finite inventory space. And so you can store anything you want with your sister. You want me to hang on to something? Not right now. Be careful. Yeah, sure. You're cool. Whatever. <laughs> Hell yeah! We definitely want Fido with us. Fido joins you. All right. You go out in front and I'll follow at a safe distance. Let's get going. Now, very ironically, Pokey joins you. Ness answered the phone. Hello, it's your dad. Work to exhaustion. Mostly because Voodoo Dave had a pet parakeet with the same name. Ah, I always named the dog Dinner. <laughs> I did not know that uh, Voodoo Dave had a dog, had a parakeet named Dinner. That is funny. Close to your dad. Work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard of a weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. I know that you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. I can make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh yeah, I deposited $30 into your bank account. Do you have an your ATM card? Withdraw your money from any cash machine and buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. I feel like such a hero. What? Well, father of hero at least. <laughs> so yeah, he is absolutely invaluable because... We can call dad and he'll tell you when we need to get to the next level and he'll also save the game for us. Yep, we're just saving the game and it doesn't penalize us for saving the game. So yes, 
save, save often. And already we've got enemies out here. So let's do it. We engage the runaway dog. Yep. Oh, that was nice. But unfortunately, even when we get a critical, which in this game is called Smash, it's nice to open up the game with a smash. Hopefully that's a good omen. That should take care of the dog. Yep. And just like that, we've won our first battle. We gained four XP, which means we leveled up. Offense went up by one, HP went up by two, Psi points went up by two, and now we have life up. Cool. So now we can use psychic powers to uh, heal. Good. I was worried that Snake was going to join us. So after a battle, there's a there are a few moments where you're blinking, and you're sort of invulnerable at that point. So we can make we can make use of that. I'm going to try and do that right after this battle ends. Oh, of course, it dodged. Good. Fortunately, it's wasting its attacks by just howling. <laughs> Pokey pretended to cry. <laughs> This is a turn-based game. Yeah. Pokey used Ness as a shield. Pokey's fucking useless. Let's try that. Yeah, we couldn't get the surprise. But generally, that's how you'll do it. So we engage the Coil Snake. Coil Snakes are much more dangerous than runaway dogs. Oh, thank goodness. And damage here. That's actually not terrible. That just made us waste our action. Didn't do damage. Yeah, there we go. We took our first damage of the game. Damn. Too bad we missed the first time, but that's okay. I was really trying to get that um, surprise attack so that we didn't have to worry about that so much. See, if we go next door, are your parents home yet? Hey, Ness, like I said, my dad isn't home yet. You've got to bring Pinky back before he comes home. I'll try and help you out a little. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to help shit, bastard. We got a crow here. You engage the spiteful crow. <laughs> but yeah, at this stage of the game, a lot of these low-level enemies, they just won't do things. So yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. But I like when they just smile. And at least the dog does something occasionally. And Picky will occasionally or when you get Picky later, Picky is actually useful. The enemy left a present. Inside the present, there was a cookie. I will take that cookie. We're going to use that now. Perfect. Six XP. Or six HP. Still not great, but. Theoretically, could have tried to weave past it, but I was worried that if we, um, because it has some pretty good mobility. I was worried that if I tried to just dodge it, it would then dart in from behind and then get an ambush on us. I don't remember what they call it in this game. Closer. Oh, damn it. It stole my bread roll, fucker. God damn it. Unfortunately, yeah, crows will steal your items. His mouth looks like an anus. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> Come on, Fido. Get it. Oh. Yeah, at this point, it does, I don't have anything to steal. Oh, come on. We're getting low here. There we go, Fido. Good, good boy. Jeez, man. That crow really gave us some trouble. All right, so we got a cookie at least back, but still... The problem is when they steal items, you don't get the items when you defeat it. It's just total loss. Which sucks. Okay, let's let's heal. Let's heal up. I don't want to mess around. Yeah, we got a little messed up by that crow. I need to make a list of the most despicable NPCs in RPGs. Ooh, yeah. Oh my god, that would be a good tier list idea. Um, Pokey is up there. Pokey is up there. 
Is there anybody worse that's more despicable, that's a more despicable NPC in, in an RPG? Goodness gracious. Yeah, Spiteful Crow has a big grin on its face. Good, you keep that grin. Maybe it'll just not do anything else. Ah, oh, hate when they dodge. Oh, damn it! I just got that cookie, you little bastard! There we go. All right, well, we got it. Maybe it'll still give us a cookie. Usually we'll get cookies from these. Yep, all right. So we just picked up the cookie that we lost last time. All right, cool. And as usual, when we level up, a bunch of our stats will go up. You went up, luck went up. Yep, yeah, good. HP went up by 13. That is good. Probably Miang from Xenogears. I'll have to think of some more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oof. There's some, there's some real winners. Yeah, shit. So one of the strategies that can work in this game, if you're really low on HP and you don't want to be fighting enemies, you could sometimes work the map a little bit. I was thinking about it there. That's why it kind of comes to mind. And you can inch over, and the second they scroll over, when you go back, the enemy will have despawned already. Hopefully, we don't have too many occasions where we really need to do that. Yeah, fucking thank God. Let's see. Good. Yeah, don't steal. Come on. Yeah, keep up, big grin. Don't do anything. Oh, you played dead. Jesus. Okay, good. We did well on that battle. Yeah, I've had to do that a few times. Yeah, this game... This game is like a typical 90s RPG. It does not hold your hand. And, uh... You, you could die a lot. <laughs> Alright, good opening. Use Nest as a shield. Yeah, alright. Cool, we already got took out the coil snake. Especially the Cave of the Past. Yeah, that Cave of the Past is, is no joke, man. So let's... Let's go over this real quick here. Status. So we are level three. So we've got our stats over on the right. Offense, defense, speed, guts, vitality, IQ, luck. Offense is obviously your standard offense about how much damage you'll do. Defense is, um, as a, as a score, will determine when you get hit how much damage that enemy does to you. Speed, um, I don't remember... Because there's some NP, uh, some RPGs where speed, I'm thinking Trails, the Trails series in particular, speed will actually affect how many times, like, what your initiative delay is after you go. So technically, in some RPGs, depending on your speed, you could go multiple times compared to your um, teammates. So I think that's how it works in this game. Yep, okay, yeah, I'm remembering that correctly. Guts, uh, Guts has two big effects. The, if you have a high Guts, the higher, the higher Guts you're you have the higher chance of a of a smash attack or a crit but also if you take massive damage if you have a lot of guts sometimes you'll still end up with one hp and that lethal attack won't kill you so having guts in this game is really awesome uh vitality it pretty much is a is a reflection and score of your hp uh so if you have a high vitality i think you're more likely to get more hp when you level up IQ, I don't remember much about what IQ will affect. I think IQ will factor into psychic uh, power at some point. IQ, the biggest teammate with that is Jeff, because the higher your IQ, the higher chance and uh, higher chance that you'll repair an item when you eventually get to that point. And it also improves the threshold at which point you can improve certain items. So certain items might require IQ 50 to repair. So anytime I get any ability to improve IQ, I use it on Jeff. Uh, and then luck affects things like dodge, um, whether or not you're missing, things like that. So anyway, um, and then we've got our hit points here, how many psychic points we have, how many experience points we have in total, and how many we have to the next level. So we're halfway to our next level. We're good. Kind of give a quick, brief synopsis here of how the game works. Now, that thing respawns. So if I were farming for XP, I would go over and kill that thing. I think he just tells me the same thing. I was too busy to investigate, but I heard a child's voice on the hilltop. I'm a busy man, but when I do a job, I do it well. I'm a man's man. <laughs> oh, liar, exaggerate, don't change. By now the cops are gone. Just cruise up here, and we'll talk to Picky. 
Oof. If I knew it was going to be such a scary place, I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here. Yeah, thanks, Fido. He is a little unreliable, but at this point, we shouldn't need him anymore. What? Oh, you woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. The real story. Well, I'm glad you're okay, at least. Let's go home now. I bet Mom and Dad are worried sick about us. Jeez, sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. <laughs> Picky joins you. Ness, do you hear a buzzing that sounds like a bee flying around? Say I don't, but I'll say yes anyway. Yes, you can hear it. Now we hear it. So, we go from the truly detestable NPC of Pokey to one of the awesome NPCs of the game, Buzz Buzz. A bee, I am not. I'm from 10 years in the future. And in the future, all is devastation. Gygus, the universal cosmic destroyer, sent all to the horror of eternal darkness. However, you must listen. Where I am from, there is a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock and will reveal the path of light. You see, it is my opinion that you are that boy, Ness. This, I believe. Somebody actually made a fan hack prequel to this where you play as Buzz Buzz. That sounds awesome! <laughs> Gygix's monsters, monstrous plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gygus. Three things are of the utmost importance. Wisdom, courage, and friendship. The legends from the ancient times tell of three boys and one girl who defeat Gygus. I will tell you more later. Go now, and do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Ness. Did you listen to what I told you? Yes. Thank you for listening to my long story. You are as exceptional as I expected you to be. Buzz Buzz now joins you. Buzz Buzz is fucking awesome. Ness, it looks like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. Three boys, he said? Uh, I'm not one of those three, am I? Yeah, fuck you're not douchebag because I'm not into this kind of thing at all yeah we know <laughs> jeez my heart is always pounding right out of my chest fucking pokey ugh and his father isn't much better uh actually what dialogue do you have Ness buddy I have something to tell you and only you can you come visit me later alone yeah he's smart he's like yeah I want pokey nowhere near that thing <laughs> We're gonna go, we're gonna go say hi to him once we don't have Pokey with us. Once we're truly alone. He was almost called the geek in this localization. Oh, no kidding. I did not know that. I guess a uh, geek pronounced geek. Interesting. Gleek. Huh. Yeah, I'm, I always struggled with how to pronounce it. Is it Gigas? Is it Gigas? I mean, shit. <laughs> oh, but here we go. It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You've been successful at foiling Master Gigas's plans. But, Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You're no longer a hero, but just a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. So our first boss battle of the game. Thankfully, we've got Buzz Buzz with us. So we got Starman Jr. blocking the way. And some really, really awesome music now. I love the music in this game. I don't think we really have much here. We've got cover. Yeah, we can pretty much just do that. So we're gonna we're gonna do our our part. Thankfully, Buzz Buzz has something awesome, and he's gonna protect us all with the psychic shield, so that we don't die horribly from this thing. And at least picky fucking attacks. Yeah, we're not doing jack shit to this guy. But yeah, the psychic shield to block that. It also works as a very good tutorial before tutorials were popularized of how certain psychic powers and magics really work. And how useful- oh my god, that's right. And Buzz- I forgot how much damage Buzz Buzz does. Buzz Buzz does. Yeah, these are some pretty advanced- oh, and, and uh, our shield just made it disappear. 
Yeah, that's a fairly advanced um, psychic attack. And yeah, Buzz Buzz had to bolster it because I think one more attack and our shields would have gone down. Yeah, that's not more happening. Now, if Buzz Buzz hadn't strengthened our shields, that probably would have taken our shields down. And that's it. Basically, Buzz Buzz did all the work in that, and we were kind of along for the ride. But that's cool. We still gained 16 experience for it. Whew. I was taking a big chance there. He came from 10 years in the future to kill me, so we, ha we can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent by Gigas, as well as humans who have evil thoughts. They'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent, due to Gigas' influence over the evil in their minds. It is the truth, so listen. Uh, and you'll notice also that when we, um, I think at this point, it's not going to let us. Yeah. Hey, Ness, so you're just going to wander around wherever you please? Don't you think we should focus on getting Picky home? Yeah, we tried. I think we can technically go home, but let's just follow the plot for now. Yep, there's nothing in the mailbox. Hey, Dark Star! <laughs> Speaking of making trouble, I have arrived! How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Where in Sam Hill have you boys been? I'll have to think of a suitable punishment. I'm really sorry that my kids troubled you so much. Both of you are really going to get it now. I love how he just goes upstairs and blatantly hits them. By the way, I would be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. We've loaned your father a lot of money. It may have been $100,000 or more. Well, I guess it really could have been less. But because of the loan, my family and I now live in poverty. <laughs> right, you lent somebody so much money that you live in poverty. Sure, buddy. Yeah, casual violence of the 90s. So it's not casual. Uh, if you're not familiar with this game, it's one of the ways they tell you that this family is truly detestable. Uh, yeah, this, this guy's a douchebag. My husband is much too lenient with the children. He just fucking beat them, lady. What the fuck? Oh, well, nice guys finish last. That's the story of our life. Talk about not being, it was only three. <laughs> uh, and this bitch. I, I think it's a dung beetle. I'll smash your guts out. And I'm like, no, no. Oh, uh, I was much weaker than I thought. So we just now begin your adventure. See you. Oh, I just remembered. Listen to my final words. And these words take forever. As long as we only listen to them once, though, it won't be so bad. To defeat Gigas, your own power must unite with the Earth's. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near Onet. It's called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? Yes. All right. You are a very intelligent young man and oh, the pain. Everything's getting dark. Oh. Before I pass on, I want to give you something. It is the Sound Stone. You can record the melodies from your eight your sanctuary locations into this stone. It is an awesome item. By the way, I'm almost gone, but did you want to hear the story one more time? Motherfuckers. I hate that yes is the standard answer here. Do you know how many times I have hit yes accidentally? Here's a 12 minute diatribe on bullshit that would get you institutionalized if you tell another soul. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, see, this dying bee told me all this shit after defeating some, like, weird alien thing outside with psychic powers. Good. It's already dawn outside, but it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. Uh, and now we have the soundstone. And that's it for Buzz Buzz. You killed my friend, motherfucker! My husband's very soft-hearted. <laughs> oh, my God. The first part of this game would have been so much easier if I had Buzz Buzz with me. But oh well. But here we go. The adventure now truly begins. We're going to save. I didn't real—I didn't remember this happened so fast. So periodically through this game, 
Soft hearted because of all the fucking <laughs> here. <laughs> Pictures taken instantaneously. So this guy is cool. As we play this game, this guy will just show up randomly and take a picture of us. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say, Fuzzy Pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. And as an experiment, one of the playthroughs I did, I purposefully would arrange my characters in a very specific way. It actually does take screenshots. <laughs> it's awesome. Let's call you. Yep, and I got $54 in my bank account. So we get money in this game, not off of things we defeat. This, in a weird sort of way, is actually more realistic. Your dad just sends you funds that we can pick up through the ATM. You should now have 84 in the bank. Well, expect uh, experience to get to the next level. Nest six. Ooh, we're going to get... We're going to level up pretty soon. And we're not going to go to bed. Perfect. But we will talk to you. You look too tired. Mother's understanding these things. Eat some pasta and scoot up to bed. Like in most RPGs, when we go home, we can just get a nice free refill of our life and psychic points. Later on in the game, we'll have to go to hotels and pay to do that, but... Here, we could just go here. I could put... There's nothing I need to put here. Nothing we need to put in storage. Down here we go. Hey, dog. I don't want to go out anymore. I don't care if everyone thinks I'm a stubborn mutt. That's all right. You did your job. Good morning, sleepy bones. Are you ready to start your adventure? I'm so proud of you. My little man is growing up too fast. That also brings up another interesting point that I forgot to bring up earlier. You engage the runaway dog. Oh, really? And it fucking attacks me? Bastard. I was kind of hoping it would just howl and waste it. Yeah, that's what I wanted you to do. Whatever. All right, so it says the runaway dog became tame. So in this game, when you um, fight things off, they, they essentially go kind of like back to normal. Um, so you're not actually killing any of these things. Just remember, the hotel's uh, rent by the hour, and not for the faint of heart. <laughs> right, 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 yeah. No kidding. We're going to go back up. We're also going to gain a level while we do this. We're engaged the coil snake. We're just going to auto-fight, because well, we're, we're just doing standard attacks here. We'll make this go a little faster. I think if I hit the right bumper button, it just automatic... The auto-attack just kind of kicks in. Oh, yeah, the snakes just aren't worth that much XP. Despite the fact that they're so much harder than the dogs. Yeah, we're going to go up and see Liar exaggerate here. Yeah, not that. Wonder what wonder what the button is that triggers auto fight. I don't remember. Boom. There we are. Offense went up by four. Nice. Some HP went up by two, and psychic points went up by two. And now we got hypnosis. Good. I don't remember hypnosis being all that useful. Ah! This is one of the best things about this game, and I think it's the first time I'd ever seen it. If, uh, if the game deems an enemy too easy for you, it just auto-completes and gives you the XP for it. Yeah, if it thinks you'll just win um, after not taking any damage and attacking it after one hit, boom. And it's easier to get these by surprise attacks because then at that point, it I think it calculates it by two rather than one attack. Now let's go see him, especially since Freakbot I know, I wish more games had that. Because, yeah, how often in RPGs are these low-level enemies not worth your time and you have to waste all that time fighting them? I, I do. I wish more games had that. Hey, buddy. I'm doing this because I trust you. First, let's go to the basement. Ah, I can tell by the look at your face you don't want to hang out, do you? Uh, that's all right. After all, we're not even related. I know you think I'm a big liar, but maybe I'll surprise you. <laughs> So yeah, love the quality of this dude's uh, cabin here on the mountaintop. But uh, yeah, especially since Freakbot never came up here. Let's go check this out. This part's really cool. 
Damn, dude, you've been busy. And he's fast. <laughs> so, Ness, buddy, I found proof of a great treasure. A huge haul. Yeah, yeah, ha. I'll show you, but you're the only one. Come on. <laughs> DBZ uh, Kakarot had it, but only if you fly dashed into an enemy. If this is a sign of what lies below, I just need a little time. My destiny is to find and dig up the buried treasure. I'll eat garlic and work out to help strengthen myself. Go home now. You're getting in the way of my work. You may start to get greedy thoughts. So he's already starting to get yeah, back. Sorry, I had to grab something to eat. Yeah, no problem, buddy. Uh, so yeah, we're in Lyra Exaggerate's house, and we went into his basement. And for those of you that have played this game, the golden statue is glowing strangely. He hasn't completely unearthed it, but this uh, this will come back later. <laughs> so yeah, he's the one that digs that up here in Onet. That fucking troublesome thing. It was right basically behind Ness's house the whole time. That's all that's here. And so that's what's up here. Yeah, just a cool little Easter egg thing. Fucking bro. I hate this fucking thing so much. Ah, but good. We killed the crow at one hit now. Goddamn Brady Bunch Tiki Idol. <laughs> but at least we got a cookie, so we could at least rejuvenate the freaking hit he took from us. We end up basically exactly the same as before we fought that crow. Mmm, crow cookies. <laughs> yeah, apparently crows are um, quite the industrious little scavengers. They'll, they'll collect all sorts of things. Money, coins, cigarettes. So I guess the game um, included that. Good. Thank you. And oh, the damn dog dodged. There we go. Now it's over. <laughs> 47. All right. So 47 damage. They'll barter too. They will. They will absolutely barter. They're so they're, they're, they're crazy intelligent. All right. So now we get to go back into the actual town of Wonnet. Now that it's not being closed by the cops. First order of business. The library is a nice place to learn stuff. I got a lot of info about Earthbound. You can borrow maps for nothing. Oh, really? Hi, kids can borrow only maps at this library. Do you want to borrow one? Yes. Here's a map. One it isn't the only thing on the map. All the info is there, except all the info that isn't there. Pressing the X button allows you to view the map at any time. How convenient. You know the X button. Located near the top? Ha ha ha. Just like that, we got the town map. At Giant Step, there's a monster guarding that spot from the outside world. No one knows when the monster made Giant Step its territory. I wonder if he's stronger than my wife. A man of few words is useless talking to him now. Recently, I sensed the presence of UFOs flying around, or am I just dreaming? <laughs> Our convenient society. If I said our modern society demands that there always be an ATM in hotels and drugstores. Just knowing that is convenient. I'm glad I read the book. I can't believe I didn't know this stuff. I'll check whether or not we have an ATM in our drugstore. Basically, convenience that ATMs are everywhere in case we need to go shopping. Free brochures. Score. I read the book, Our Society is Convenient. Always telephones and... Yep, okay. It's just telling us that there are phones and drugstores and all that. So this is also useful. We're going to be making lots of use of drugstores. Tell me anything. Wait. Shh. You're bothering people. Okay. Thought if I talked to you a bunch of times, maybe something different. Just you. Cramming for the big test tomorrow. It's about games. Hotel rule. Hotel rule. If you stay at a hotel, you'll wake up with full HP and PP. 
Life recovery roll. Recovering your life will give you full HP, but zero side points. Hmm. I bet this stuff will be on the test. <laughs> Quiet. I feel like one of these... If I annoy them long enough, they give me something. But I might be thinking of a different game. Okay. Yeah. I just... And the green ones cost a dollar use while the black ones are free. Yep. Yeah, granted, once you get later in the game, it almost, like, doesn't matter. But hello. I'm doing watch out duty for the hideout. Can you take over? Just kidding. Being watch out is my job. I'll give you my Mr. Baseball cap. I know you've wanted it for a long time. It's the best cap for someone really brave like you. Ness got the Mr. Baseball cap. Just like that. This is the map. Why am I not able to go into my menu? Whatever. Uh, right. Yep. Okay. So just like that, our defense went up. Waking up with no. <laughs> yeah. Right. Detachable penis. <laughs> you've grown. Uh, you've grown since I last saw you. You're beginning to look like a man. You're so cool. I. I think I really like you. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> If you really think about it, this game is like if you crossed over Arkham Horror with Charlie Brown and the Peanuts game. You know, that is so true. Oh my god, yeah. Thought I could get that surprise attack on it. But no. Spiteful crow. Oh, and it dodged. No, don't steal the cookies. Alright, but now they're, almost, now they're doing negligible damage to me thanks to that baseball cap. Fucking crows do have a high evasion, though. Thankfully, we're doing this after we got the baseball cap and not before. It hit me like three times. Instead of doing three total damage to me, it would have done like 12 or 15 or something. Bird bastard. I am not your enemy. I'm simply your average run of the real mole. Would you like some hints on fighting enemies? No, I'm all right. <laughs> Freddy got a good grasp of how to fight effectively. Yeah, if I needed the help, he would have helped me. Giant step. North, at the mount, uh, at the top of the mountain. Danger, do not enter. I heard there's a big footprint on the hilltop behind this shack. I haven't seen it myself. It's just a rumor. The shack was locked by somebody from City Hall, so we can't use it. The reason it was closed because a punk named Frank may have trashed the place. What a drag. We can't even change our clothes, and hotels look too expensive. Yep, so this door's locked. Do not enter. So we need to deal with, uh... Is it just me, or is that crow trying to avoid me? <laughs> hey, ghosty, what's going on, right? Early stream, huh? Yeah, I took the day off to, uh, to just play some Earthbound. So, welcome, ghosty, always good to see you. Frank's a jerk. Pretty much most Franks. <laughs> I actually know a Frank who's a cool dude, but yeah, that does... <laughs> but that's not all that atypical, right? <laughs> no, actually, a good, fr a good friend of mine, uh, his name Frank, he actually is one of the... A uh, few people I know that played East like in the real world before I told them about it. It's like, oh, you know about East? It's like, hell yeah. <laughs> Frank's a cool dude. Not the Frank in this game. Well, although the Frank in this game becomes cool, but I might be spoiling things a little bit. But yeah, at the moment, Frank is not a cool guy. Cookie. I love my turn-based games. Good. Let's go to cookie. Yep. Back up here. Hey, dog, give me free. Give me. F well, no, you're not going to give me free XP yet. <laughs> Frank never shows up for Sesh. That's so true. <laughs> he showed up like all of twice. <laughs> oh, man. So I got physical therapy at four. So I, well, pretty much my plan is to just, uh, with my late breakfast, uh, I'm just going to play Earthbound until I have to go to physical therapy. Um, so now that you're back, Freakbot, you want to do Duffy's? Uh, the good one down by you? The arcade is full of sharks. I can't play there. I'm going to the trash can. Well, let's see here. There's a hamburger inside. We'll take that. Cool. Luckily, the vehicles stop for us, but they don't kill us. Let's go to this drugstore. Let's see what's up.
So, yep. Let's do it. So, yeah, if we use this ATM, we have to charge money. So, I think it'll even... Uh, if I do it automatically, I think it just deducts the money. I don't think it gives me the choice. Hey, I know your hard-earned cash is important to you, but you should call your mom. She's probably got an ulcer from worrying about you. Woof, woof. I'm Rafini the dog. I'm being possessed by the spirit of the game designer. Do you see the window showing HP and Psi points at the bottom of the screen? When you go to a store that has equippable items, this window will either flash like normal or become black. If you're allowed to equip an item, it's stronger than your current item. Yeah, it's basically just telling us how this works. I can talk. I can tell you how that works in a second. I'm a regular dog again. Welcome to the automatic teller machine. Uh, yes, yeah, so let's withdraw. We have 127. So yeah, let's withdraw some money. Now we've got much more money. Homer, find your soulmate. <laughs> uh, they rectified that little car-related issue in Smash Brothers. Oh, they did. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's lame. May I help you? Well, let's buy. Let's see what we can... Oh, we can buy a cold remedy. Uh, I don't think we need that. Nope. I don't want that. All right, come on in. Come on in. What can I do for you today? Let's see. So we could buy the T-Ball Bat. And just like that, if we bought this, it's an upgraded bat. We could also buy the yo-yo. In my opinion, the yo-yos aren't as good, but all of your party members can pretty much use yo-yos. Holds are the worst, though. Yeah, they really are. Uh, we already got... We actually have a Mr. Baseball Cap, which is better than this baseball cap. And we got the cheap bracelet. So, actually, I think we could get the T-Ball Bat and the cheap bracelet. We're going to do that. Yes, we're going to equip it, and our offense went from 13 to 17. And we could buy the cracked bat. Granted, it was um, Tracy's. Ah, right. Tracy's your sister's name. Your mom said Tracy earlier. Not as bad as homesickness, though. Yeah, homesickness sucks. That's such a debilitating condition. So yeah, let's sell that. Need anything else? Yes, let's buy more. And let's buy that cheap bracelet. We're gonna like equip it here. Yes, and our defense went from nine to 14. That is a big deal. Nope, we're good. All right, so that's where most of our money went, but we upgraded fantastically. This is, nope, the drugstore is to the east. East is the opposite of west. So obviously a lot of people bother them. Girl named Paula lives in Tucson. Her mother runs a preschool out of their home. I can't remember the name of the school, but I heard Paula's really special. Why is she special? I forgot to ask. Oh, well. Yeah, Paula is fucking awesome. Welcome to beautiful Want it. Uh, own it, the wildflower of Eagle Land. <laughs> we can... If you're trying to sell us the newspaper, go away. We don't read the paper. And we don't want any milk either. Let's just explore the town a little bit. Part of the strategy was fighting and want, uh, own it. There's a certain kind of joy when throwing Jigglypuff into oncoming traffic. <laughs> oh, man. It's been so long since I've played Smash Brothers. I need to do that. Ah, cool. Now we're just... Defeating the dogs in one hit. Oh, yeah. Throwing other players literally under the Runaway 5 bus is fun. So the Runaway Five are a reference to this game, and uh, they're basically the Blues Brothers, essentially. Ooh, cool. Free, free hit. I think this is the Hint Shack, right? Nope, it's just an empty house. Good bot. Sure, dog. Why not? Let's get some XP. So we'll get that in a second. It's, a, it's a, at some point going to defeat this dog. But so by talking to them, we've already figured out that because some local punk named Frank trashed the shack, City Hall locked the door. So we need to go to City Hall. There's our hospital. I don't think it shows City Hall on the map, but it's pretty obvious from the map which building City Hall is. We're almost there. The hospital is down here. Depending on the ailment, sometimes we could go to the hospital and get healed. Um, the point overlooking the sea is beautiful scenery. It's over that way. Such a beautiful place gets me all choked up. What they're talking about here is actually a house you can buy, although it's expensive as hell. Even if you're poor, come and see how easy it is to own a luxurious second home. Beak Point Real Estate. Doesn't this house look good? You could buy it for only 7,500. It has an ocean view and the sunsets are beautiful. Folks should have a place of their own. Do you want to buy it? No. I can't afford it. You can't afford 7500 It was a waste of time talking to you. We're at some point gonna... And if I talk to this girl, the music will change. She'll play the saxophone. I don't really like that music change, so we're just not gonna talk to her right now. 
Maybe we'll do it when we're out, on our way out. <laughs> Broke found. <laughs> oh, here we go. Some sharks. The local ruffians. Oh, I almost got this surprise attack on it. We engaged the Yes Man Jr. and the Skate Punk. Uh, I don't remember which of these two is the worst one. I think it's the Skate Punk does more, more damage to me. And these guys could do some serious damage when they do a particular attack. Good, thank goodness. All right, got rid of you. Now then. These guys don't do a whole lot of damage in their normal attacks. But they do have a couple of special attacks that really fuck you up. Like, really fuck you up bad. So I am slightly concerned about them. We can buy pizza. Ah, that's right. And the sharks uh, frequent the game arcade here. Open soon. Mock pizza. One at branch. I'm going to talk to this guy, though. Do you want to start a fight? Oh, oh shit. Right. Might just talk to him. He starts a fight. I forgot. That's right. And they're attacking. One point of damage. I think it's when they shred the skateboard. There it is. Okay, that's not terrible. But it does damage. Uh, Alright, so if this doesn't defeat it... Okay, good. We're gonna life up after this. We gained 2 XP. Oh, thank goodness. HP went up by a lot. That's good. Life up. Now we have 60 HP. Okay, good. We should have enough to deal with Frank. You don't want Frank to beat you up, do you? Well, I don't want him to beat me up. I want to beat him up. We're not going to deal with this right yet. Pokepunk fell down. Yeah, these Pokepunks are also pretty bad. Huh. Oh, we'll take the hamburger. Sweet. So how's everybody doing today on this lovely Friday? Can of fruit juice. We'll take a can of fruit juice. I love how we just rummage around through trash cans to get stuff in this game. <laughs> Dude, rumor has it that the shark's boss is hanging out near the giant step. Frazzled. Oh, it's, it's one of those days? That's lame. Sorry, man. There are lots of snakes and stray dogs around, want it? Is the mayor going to let them just run around doing whatever they want? I'm here to protest. Some suspicious-looking kids are hanging out in the woods north of the library. I wonder if they're members of the Sharks. Stop the spread of the gang. Someone should shut down their gathering places, don't you think? I've started a movement that will stop all the bad place, all the bad influences on the children of uh, Onet. I call it the Fresh Breeze Movement. Hum de dum dum. I don't have any opening part-timers. See, I work for City Hall. Somehow Mayor Perko bugs me. Keep this between you and me. I love how he just tells random kids that show up that. I'm chill, just resting while I can. Hey, that's always good. Here's our bar manager, Adam Pierce. I need a drink. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't mean to spoil it for you. Oh, God. Yeah, she's spoiled. Like giving you a clue of what's up at uh, Giant Step. But uh, yeah, using puns, bad puns at that. I'm really in a foul mood. Why? Because the mayor doesn't like me. I think I'll just kick back for a while. I may just take me a couple hours to sign this paper. Aren't you, Ness? Is it a school holiday today? Have you done your homework? Remember to brush your teeth before going to bed. You've been wetting your bed. Yeah, dude, dude. This game is so much fun. But yeah, I think one of the best parts of this game is all of the NPC interactions. If you're not talking to everybody, you're missing half the charm of the game. The mayor's office is on the second floor. You need an appointment before you visit. I'm going to have to stop you if you try to see the mayor. Ugh. Okay. All right, I forgot that annoying little detail. So we need an appointment to see the mayor. Does that mean I have to call and make the appointment over the phone? Ooh, magic butterfly! Oh, no, come here! Hell yeah, heal me up! There's Frank in the background. In the back here. Um, yeah, I think we'll go home and we'll call the mayor's office. I think that's how this works. Don't you think you'll be needing a weapon? Don't you know the drugstore sells things you can use? Yeah, I already re-equipped at the drugstore, buddy. We're all good. Yeah, already. At this point, I'm already healed up. What a cute yellow butterfly. Yes. Magic butterflies are awesome. Bureaucracy at work for. So the hotel phone. Um. Oh, yeah. The hotel phone would have been free. I've gone this far now. 
But yeah, Darkstar, you're right. The, dark, the hotels don't have free phones. That would have been faster. That would have been faster. Oops. <laughs> We've come this far now. Oh. Uh. Yeah, throw the cookie away. Oh, well, whatever. So maybe now I'll have Tracy hold on to some of these items. But yes, you're quite right. Hotel phone. It's been a while. <laughs> oh. Leave the cookie behind, yes. So you're already seeing kind of the issue here, that inventory space is very limited. Oh, uh, I can't... Okay, how do I make an appointment? Well, we'll save anyway. 91 in the bank, yep. Take that. That will save. Uh... How do I make an appointment with the mayor? Shit. Or do we just beat Frank up? We could just go and beat Frank up. It's been a while since I played this. Obviously. <laughs> Or maybe we just ignore her and go up and talk to the mayor. But I do remember her stopping us. Oh, Christ. <laughs> what level are you? Uh, we are... Level 5. We're getting there. If I remember correctly, this is a level that we should be able to beat Frank at. This is my biggest problem with the games. At least not as bad as the inventory system of Earth. Yeah. Yeah, inventory system. Yeah, go kick his ass. I'm just going to go kick Frank's ass. Damn it. I was kind of hoping we'd get that free auto hit. I wasn't facing the right way. But yeah, once we beat Frank, then the mayor will talk to us. I mean, we might be skipping something, but... If you were four or lower, I would have said no. <laughs> yeah. No, I, th I think we're good enough here. You look so helpless. Are you okay? We'll, go, we'll hit up the arcade. We'll deal with this guy. Plus, we've got plenty of healing items. Yeah, the arcade's over there. We get to bang on people's doors. Sometimes we can go inside. Sharks. Ugh. I like it better when they miss me. Yeah, thank you. Oh, fuck. Yeah, so enemies in this game can call for help, and that gets... Things can get out of control sometimes. That's enough out of you. Now we deal with you. Although we're gonna get some really nice XP out of this. We'll probably just eat cookies. Just to free up some inventory spots. Yeah, the Pogo Punks suck. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the Pogo Punks. They're the ones I take out absolutely the first. So they've got some sort of special attack that really hurts. I don't remember what it is. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, we're still alive. <laughs> Okay, so one of the tactics of this game uh, is because it's a rotating kind of like, um, oh, what the hell is the damn thing called? Um, right before they die in an endless chain. Yeah, yeah, it happens. It can happen in this game. Um, but if you got, as long as you, as long as the counter of HP does not hit zero when it is your turn, it can still be going down. Like I could take 900 points of damage, but if I get to go and there's even one HP still on that rotating meter as it's going down, I can act and heal myself. Yeah, the rolling counter, it's awesome. <laughs> For Bogo Punks. <laughs> yeah, the S-Man Jr., I don't remember being all that bad. But there is that. All right, so how much XP did we get from that? We got 40 XP. That's awesome. Downside is healing can be interrupted as well. Yeah. Yeah. 
Hey, buddies. Okay, well, they're stuck behind that car. It was you. You beat up my buddy, didn't you? You better just beat it. <laughs> I would beat up all the sharks. Yep, and we're going to. We're going to beat up all the sharks. For sure. I love it when they just fall down and otherwise waste their turn. Oh, of course I don't want to miss. There we are. So there are two differences. Sometimes there's just missed, and then there's like barely missed. And I think barely missed is when they evade. Okay. Yep, we're going to throw away a cookie because a cookie is not nearly as good as a hamburger. Boom. We can level it. Yeah, that would be a big help. And I think we I think we're getting close. Yeah, 37. We're, we'll get that. But also one of these guys has something cool on him. You sound like a real whiner to me. Don't get lippy or I'll kick your ass. Okay, we are going to fight that guy. Tell you the truth. I like drinking tea and eating fresh vegetables, but that doesn't fit my super cool image. I guess I'll <laughs> accept this about myself. Frank is an incredibly powerful weapon. Get your hands on it. I bet you can stand against any enemy. Spit, spit, spit. Saliva, spit, spit. You want some gum? Get your own, twit. <laughs> this guy. When you buy an item, it should be equipped. Do you bother to actually equip it? <laughs> I gave a hint to my own enemy. I'm such a rockin' dude. I obviously have total confidence in my own abilities. At least the sharks have the wherewithal to not use death traps known as moon shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Get it, Spanky. You engage the spape escape home. No one came. Actually, I kind of hoped someone would come. That would have been good for XP. Alright, so we'll fight two more enemies because, yeah, Frank is a tough fight. We're almost there anyway. We're super close. Yeah, we'll fight this dude. We have to fight him anyway. Yeah, I want to come back. Oh, okay. You want to come a member? No. Don't be such a snob. <laughs> I forgot just how much of the early game you have to do solo. Yeah, you have to do a lot of the game solo. Just looking at a pair of moon shoes could cause your ankles to break. <laughs> I love when they just laugh hysterically. Come on, buddy. Ugh. Fucking blue bastards. The, the monsters in this game, or the enemies, are so creative. I love all... They're so much fun. All right, I think we have to fight two more enemies. Let's just... I'd rather keep that. Oh, yeah, we'll eat this cookie. At this point, we'll just eat both of these cookies. Our, our HP isn't maxed out, but... Should be some... Yeah, there we go. There are some sharks. You're not getting here that fast. Oh, you did got there just fast enough. Oh, you didn't... Cool, we'll get a surprise attack on him in a second. God damn that charge forward attack. It's enough out of him. And now let's see if we can ambush his friend that showed up. We'll take the hamburger. Thank you. Oh, well. We leveled up anyway. Come on, give it to me. Yes! Oh, still no instant kill though. But we got our first surprise opening attack. Yeah, we got it. I don't know why it didn't give me the auto kill on that, but whatever. So up to the arcade we go. I mean, we could farm XP a little bit more, but I don't think that's necessary. Although before I do this, we're going to go to the hotel and save. Ugh. Fine, we'll fight you. What a waste. A waste of my time, yes man, Junior. Well, I might just go home just to um, get full health here. But, mm, I think we're fine. I mean, we're already here and won it. Having the free health isn't all that far away. Yeah, let's just do that really fast. That way we face Frank with full equipment and all that jazz. I really don't feel like spending money at the hotel to stay there when we can just go up the beaten path, up the trail here and do it for free. I like free. Pro 
probably do have enough to cover the cost of the hotel. I'm sure we do. Look too tired. Mothers aren't just saying things. Eat pasta. Go to bed. <laughs> this is like a mid-afternoon nap here. The music does really feel like home. Hell, I probably have enough, like... Um... Oh, yeah, we have plenty in the bank. Oh, my God. We're going to continue. Hell, yeah. Ugh. Another sneeze. Ugh. Nose. Why must I sneeze? Really? No, we still don't automatically defeat the runaway dog? Come on, game. Give me this one. Now you're just wasting time. After another level, though, we'll be auto... Auto defeating the dogs. Or if I had a bike, this would at least go a little faster. This should be an auto. De this should be an auto win. Yep. Thank you. Appreciate it. Come on. Now, one of the consequences for dying in this game is you lose, I think, half the money in your wallet. You don't lose any money in the ATM, but you will lose money that you have on you. So to some extent, you're almost rewarded for not making a withdrawal from the ATM. Uh, yeah, we go after the Pogopunk first. Yeah, charge forward. Accuracy. Killer. Ugh, all right. Well, maybe we'll just eat a hamburger. But at least now we have maximum Psy points as well. Perfect. I will take the hamburger that it just gave us. Why, thank you, game. I appreciate that. Yep. Now we're not wasting our time with those sharks. Ness's HP is maxed out. All right. This fight is fairly challenging. I'm Frank. You are? Come on, can't you at least say your name? <laughs> Good old Frank, wannabe gangster. <laughs> yeah, he can just lower your guts by talking shit to you. Oof. But we still smashed him. <laughs> Man, wipe the floor with him. But before you think it's that was too easy. But wait, there's more. Fail proof Frank can't be beaten. Ugh. This is Frankie Stein, Mark II. <laughs> Whoop, Frankster. But yeah, this is a real fight now. Yeah, this thing is this thing is this thing is brutal. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep we're just gonna keep pounding on it until it uh, dies. And it can... It does some pretty decent damage. I like it when they just generate steam. Yeah, this is, can hurt. Now I need to heal. <sighs> yeah, I need to heal again. As long as it throws punches, I'm not too worried about it. But because that, uh, okay. Yeah, that special attack can do 30 hit points of damage. So if you're lower than 30, you have to, I love this music. Yeah, battle against unsettling opponent. It's great. The new tribal chief with that smashing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Smash. This is my first defeat. Fail proof Frank is now just failure Frank. I know you've been asking around, so I'll tell you about giant step. It seems to be quite a powerful spot. Some kind of special power is stored there that allows certain people to perform wondrous feats. However, a monster sucked up all the energy at that spot. It's difficult to get to Giant Step. That's all I know. I suggest you collect more information on your own. The entrance to the path leading to Giant Step is behind the Touring Entertainer's shack. Perkle, the mayor of Ona, has a key to the shack. Ness, you've become stronger than I have. Your adventure is just beginning. So yeah, we, uh, Ness with the spear. <laughs> yeah. 
I love that that shark that just comes up and is like, yeah. <laughs> and just like that, the sharks don't fight us anymore. That took care of that. There we go. Oh. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Uh, is there a remake of this? This year's supposed- I have not heard of a remake of this. Is there really? Oh yeah, we already talked to this guy. That would be amazing. Putting up them ones. Acknowledge Ness. Since you beat up the sharks, you're the talk of the town. Mayor Perkle is waiting for you. Why, thank you. Acknowledge Ness. Whoops. Let's try that again. Thank you so much for all your help. In the next election, please give a speech supporting Mayor Perkle. Mayor Perkle. <laughs> hey, 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 I'm Major <laughs> that's, that's shit, it's not what they were going for. <laughs> oh my goodness, now that is a blast of the past. That cartoon was in the, what, 70s? They just put Mother 3 on the Switch and only in Japan because of course not. Of course they did. It's so nice to meet you. You beat up the town bullies, punched them out big time, kicked their butts, bit their heads off, spit in their eyes, made them wet their pants. Then you forced them to promise not to make any more trouble. Thank you. What, you want a key to the touring entertainer shack? Someone as great as you giving you the, ca the key could help keep the town peaceful. However, if you encounter a dangerous situation, please don't ask me to take any responsibility. I'll be able to avoid any responsibility, right? Yes. You're such a smart kid. Here's the key to the shack. <laughs> Maybe a remake announcement this year? That would be really cool, man. Pretty sure it's a copyright. It, there are so many copyright issues with this game. Oh my God. So there are the songs that they're considered plagiarism. There's the Coke vans. There are so many cultural references in this game that it's it's a copyright law minefield. Uh, so, but Dark, yeah. Darkstar is alluding a lot to that too. Um. Yeah, that's that's why it's been that's why it's been such a nightmare to get anything of this game. I'm surprised it's on the Switch at all. Uh, Ness got the key to the shack. You know, I wonder if Midnoffin, which is what I'm using to emulate this game, has a um, filter on it that would help out with some of the pixelation because some of it doesn't look quite right. I'll have to fiddle with that at some point. Oh, we can go in this house. Who's here? City Hall is to the east, you know, where the sun rises. Yeah, that's not helpful. Thanks, man. I guess if I didn't have a map already, that would have been a useful house to go into. Oh, whatever. <laughs> what if someone was here? Is right, whisper. Ha ha ha. Jerk, because... <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Again, this is like part of the charm of this game. Uh, am I going the right way? Yeah, we gotta go all the way around this fucking woods. We can't go through the woods. That's alright. Hello, bowl. Oh, they're running away from me now. That's right. Run! Run, bitch! I think you have to set it to smoothing. Yeah. I'm sure there's a. Oh, there's a cookie. Sure, I'll take a cookie. Why not, actually? Let's just eat that cookie now. So we'll eat both these cookies. Yeah, we'll do that. Door is locked. Ness used the key to the shack. The door opened. Cool. Yeah, uh, Frank really did trash this place and knocked a convenient hole in the back. All right, giant step. We'll see how much of this we can do without having to go back and get some more health. Oh, right, the rowdy mice. These things can... Oh, yeah, they smash a lot. Okay, they have high guts, so they beat the shit out of you sometimes. But they're good for XP, and we'll level up a little bit. Yeah, they get a lot of XP. All right, so our HP went up, our IQ I went up. Wow, okay, and so it doesn't max out your HP when you gain a level, but when your maximum HP goes up, in this case by 14, 
our health, I think, went up by 14. And same thing with our side points. I just watched it. Cool. Very high crit rate. Very, very high. They crit constantly. They're bastards. And then the snails later are great for XP. Ugh. There we go. How do you like it? Shedhead mouse. Take that. This way. You know, I never noticed that it literally samples the Beach Boys. You engage the bland black Antoid. Ah, uh, yep. This is one of those fights where they call for help a lot. Good, yeah. Max out your HP. God damn it! Stop doing that. All right. So we got rid of the Antoid that uh, kept calling for help. Keep maxing up your own. That works for me. No one came. But this is going to be a good XP bite. Oof. I'll probably just life up after this. This one keeps doing that. Oof. Oh, okay, come on. God, thank you. Good, we dodged. That's nice. Oh, come on. Thank you. So yeah, uh, one of the things about this game is you could be in control for a lot of the fight, and all it takes is for a couple of things to go wrong, and all of a sudden, you're in trouble. Huh, I will definitely have to look that up. Wow, 111 XP. Jeez, man. We will definitely take the skip sandwich. Skip sandwiches are awesome. What friend are you using for Manafin? Um, I'm using Manafi. I don't think Freakbot uses a front end at all. He that mad lad just uses Manafin, period. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I've I've gone in there and I've seen like some of the uh scalers and filters. So I'll just have to go through that and see which one I'm using for the Super Nintendo. Because each system you can set independently. Uh, you know, that's the awesome part about the magic uh, butterfly. Yeah, I just click and drag. No UIs, baby. <laughs> Skip sandwich is cool. Okay, these are probably the snails. Yeah, the attack slug. So this, if I'm remembering it correctly, these are not much of a threat because they have to concentrate, but if we don't kill them fast enough, they uh, are able to then use very advanced psychic offensive magic, and it's awful. But before that, they're pretty much easy pickings. Okay, well, maybe not. But yeah, it didn't work because they didn't concentrate. We're just gonna work our way through these. More. And I think this turn it's able to concentrate. No, not yet. Good. Okay. And they do. They give great XP. They are awesome XP. Especially after we deal with the Titanic Ant at the end of this. And they start running from you and you can get instant attacks and you can just wipe them out in one kind of one way. That is excellent XP. Uh, we, we eat good once we're done here. There we go. We just went up. Defense went up by a lot. Sweet. Maximum HP went up by two. There we go. And we just got our Psy Rockin' about ability. Okay, so I don't remember which way to go. Just one. Okay, as long as the Antoid doesn't call for help successfully. <laughs> yeah, we got it. Cool. Free XP. Yeah, we'll take the cookie. Eat that. Oh, this was just a dead end. Yeah, it was just a dead end. Fuck. That's all right. We'll eat this cookie too. 
we're almost to max out now. Yeah. Yeah, that rockin' rockin' alpha is awesome. That's gonna be an ant and a mouse. We gotta take out the mouse first, because it can hurt us. And hopefully the antoid doesn't call for a for help a lot. Although its crit isn't really all that bad. Especially as we're gaining levels here. I mean, a crit, it's only doing 10, 13 points of damage. It's really not that bad. It's only doing a little bit more than the Antoid does, just by nature. But still, we went into that battle in the 70s for HP, and they whittled off over half of our HP. Not great. Still use cookie. Yeah, the advantage of the skip sandwich is the fact that it makes us go faster. So if we eat a skip sandwich, we could kind of run away from things. Oh, that's annoying. I have to life up here. Okay, good. Now yeah, let's play games with it. Present there. Present. Go in here. Yeah, we got to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Not fucking around with these two. Yeah, all right. I guess I'll take the cold remedy. Exactly what we're gonna do. We're not gonna fight all that. 238 for next level. Yeah, we might hit that. Uh you know what? Where do I go down and deal with all this? No. Let's mouse not something I want to deal with. Wow, that thing was that attack slug was almost gonna get to us. Whatever. I love these attack slugs. Perfect. We only need to fight a couple of those. We'll, we'll gain at least another level by the time we get to the end of this. This area, I think. Unless it's right here. We're almost like that. But that's the cool part. We could just go to this magic butterfly and it'll restore our side points. Side points back. And that magic butterfly regenerates there. Awesome. Bash it until it dies. Whatever. That was a waste of a turn, but hey, you do you, Antoid. Oh, damn it. Alright, uh, buddy. That deals with that. Yeah, sure. Take your cookie. I don't remember what's in this. Take the hamburger, for sure. These are attack slugs, most likely. Nope, it's gonna be Nant. We're making good time. We've almost dealt with the entire first area of the game. Nice. That, once we go through that, that's where our 46 XP, we will 
Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't take long. Where's our where's our butterfly? Oh, butterfly's not here. There it is. There's our magic butterfly. Hey buddy. And that was with talking to NPCs and kind of taking our time with it. Rather, if we're an attack slug, probably an antoid. Yeah, whatever. Ugh. Oh, thank goodness. Damn it. Okay, fine. Actually, in that case, I was kind of hoping someone would. Yeah, if there are like three ants on the screen, then I'll just, in this spot, then yeah. It's time. I queuing up max HP. Ooh, that was nice. Perfect. Good. I mean, since we were that close anyway. See again. Thank you. Perfect. But yeah, I'll be looking at the uh, smoothing effects. Ah, oh, I couldn't get past them this time. Now I didn't want something here. I mean, I could have just left and came back until there was nothing here, but whatever. We'll fight through them. Mm. I want to keep my side points for this, though. Man, we're missing a lot. They keep calling for help, and then it dies. Damn it. Ugh. There we go. Alright. Got this under control. Oh, look at that. Spam risk is calling me. My favorite caller. And they still managed to... There we go. That's what I'm talking about. The endless cycle. In this case, we have plenty of hamburgers. Uh, I don't remember how much a can of fruit juice will heal. But a hamburger, I think, heals 60. 46. Well, now let's get this can of fruit juice out of here. There we go. Okay. I didn't know this. Damn it. That's my fault. I should have waited. Damn it, we didn't kill it all right. Mm. Alright, well, that deals. That's the end of Antoid A. Yeah, I want to have as much HP and side points as possible for the uh, boss of this area. I'm only down 10 hit points. That's not terrible. It is my fault, though. I thought we were really close to the end. So now, let's take a summation. 80 out of 90, 30, yeah. Let's just do it. Let's start this. You finally got here. This is the first your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. Hey, Deep Fry. That's right, we're playing the best game ever. And why thank you, I appreciate that. Yeah, let's let's just do this out of the gate. Let's get those other antoids out of there so they can't heal the boss. We'll do some damage. There we go. Kills the antoid A. Kills the antoid B. That's the important part. I'm primarily gonna save my side points for healing. Mine, 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 mine. No! Ugh! Doesn't take long. Fuck. Looks like you got your head handed to you. How about giving it? Yeah, we'll give it another shot. <laughs> Shit. 
but yeah, we lost a uh, little bit of that money, but we keep our levels. So that's the good part. We'll just go to bed here. And get our side points back. Yep, first death of the run. And honestly, it's my own fault because I let my, my health get down a little too far. I should have lifed up the turn before that, and I kind of knew that. I thought I would get to go first because I got to go first last time. Didn't work out that way. I went in under level and died to Frankie Stein. Ah, that's all right. I mean, this is not a game we're going to go through deathless. <laughs> it's just not. But at the same time, that was that was an unforced error on my part. We'll take we'll take out a little frustration on the dog here. We'll we'll go back through this. We'll get it. We'll go back through. Damn, why am I sneezing so much today? Well, there's nothing in there. They're just, they're just sneezing to sneeze. Head back to Giant Step. We'll, uh... There you go. Now you bastards are running away from me. I don't want to even deal with crows because they could steal stuff. Yeah, a uh, very early stream for me today. Uh, I took today off work so I could just uh, play games. <laughs> My only obligation today is I'm going to have to go to physical therapy at four. I tried scheduling that for a different day, uh, but they couldn't they couldn't uh, move it. Around. They couldn't move it around. Oh, I thank you, Groovy Gadget. I appreciate the follow. <laughs> and of course, this thing crits me right out of the box. But uh, yeah, we're going to have some fun with this today. Play a lot of RPGs, Earthbound being uh, one of many. This time we're going to do a little bit better. And greetings! It is nice to meet you. Yeah, that's right. A good way to use a Friday. And also a good way to use a, uh, a personal day, especially on my birthday. So yeah, we're just goofing off. Playing some Earthbound. We'll have some fun with it. I don't think we're going to die that many times, but, um, but yeah, I, I had no illusions of going through this deathless. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, we're pretty friendly in chat. Feel free to be as chatty or as uh, lurky as you like. Gain a nice 100 XP. Hell, we might even gain another level on our way up there by accident. Just because... Oh yeah, we are going to gain another level. Yeah, we'll be level 10 by the time we get up there. So that'll be convenient. That'll make the ant even easier to uh, deal with. Assuming Seraph doesn't, you know, let my HP go down that far again. Lesson learned. <laughs> Lesson learned. I was primarily just worried about it doing special attacks. But yeah, that time, just the standard one did me in. Get rid of that guy. Yeah, it's not going to work. You haven't concentrated yet. Man. I love this game. <laughs> All the attack slugs. Yep, attack slugs, for sure. Ugh. Yeah, let's just be done with it. We'll get a crap ton of XP, and we'll get the magic butterfly up top side in a second. Hell, we might level off this. Playing an Earthbound hack made it to the end game, and it wasn't easy. Oh, I bet. I've heard some of, about some of those Earthbound hacks. Actually, Freakbot was talking about uh, an Earthbound hack about the prequel with Buzz Buzz. That sounds awesome. Um, so what's uh? What was the uh, special thing about your Earthbound hack? Was it just a difficult hack, or was it uh, was it specifically themed? Uh, yeah, we already are lifed up. Good. Yeah, magic butterfly made Ness relax. Actually, are we at full? Good. 
good. We are failing. Perfect. And there's giant step right there. We just need to get back here and get up over. Uh, what's your favorite area in Earthbound? Foreside is awesome. Yeah, three is freak bots. No surprise there. The horror kind of themed uh, area. That's a good question. What is my favorite? God, I have to call it favorite? Shit. What is my favorite? I guess if if I if I had to pick one, yeah, foresight is as good as any. Um and for the virtue of of the of the YouTube channel for I mean I don't think I mean who knows, right? But well I guess we'll well everybody here has played it, so um so I'm not too worried about spoilers, but I guess we'll keep it kind of vague for anybody that might not have played the game. But um there are, oh, there are so many areas. I do enjoy Summers also, even though it's expensive. Also, the fan game I was talking about was Cognitive Dissonance. Nice. Mostly vanilla Earthbound with different story enemies and bosses. Ah, oh, just to kind of mix it up for, for those of us that have played this game uh, excessively, shall we say. <laughs> oh. Still miss too much at this level, though. All right, there's the end of that. For the most part, now when we hit them, we're going to be killing them. Well, we need the XP anyway. Oh. Fine. Enough of that guy. Do, do. I'm quite happy, though, that people uh, still remember this game and, and remember it fondly. Wow, we're almost going to level up again. But um, we'll just keep going here. We got this. We've got this. I'm just not going to let myself get down that far this time. Yeah, we'll just eat a hamburger here. Finally got here. This is the first sanctuary location. Take it from me, if you dare. <laughs> I think Dark Horse area is Moonside. It's just so small. Yeah, I mean, I would sort of consider Moonside and Foreside the same kind of general area. Uh, but yeah, if we're counting that... Uh, we're counting that. That's a good question. Yeah, let's get the ants out of the way here. Yeah. Yep, that's why we're getting rid of everything all at once and protecting the ant. Oh, yeah! Yeah, I was trying to dig through my head. You're right, Freakbot. <laughs> yep, Magic Inn is awesome. That is absolutely my favorite. Yes. I was, like, trying to dig through the cobwebs of my head. <laughs> uh, all right, yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Yep, we're definitely, we're definitely healing now. Yep, life up. Healing will will heal a condition, but life up is... Oh, man, I forgot it drains uh, side points. Hello, cat. Hi, Cleo. My co-host here joining in. Hello, cat. What's up, Cleo? Shit, I forgot it does... Uh... You know, I forgot about that magnet. That being the case, let's do this just to uh, make sure that we could still use it, because otherwise it's going to drain. Ah, we got it. Cool. And we gained a level. <laughs> oh, baby. Offense went up by three. Speed went up by one. Vitality up by one. IQ up by one. HP by 14. That's nice. Hello. Hello, cat. Okay. Okay, Cleo. All right. All right. Hello. She got my foot rubbing on it, headbutting my shin and kind of biting at me. And now we get some melody. <laughs> Ness caught a glimpse of a small, cute puppy. Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of the giant step. 
fine. We regained full health and all that. That's always nice. And here's the awesome part of this. Now that we've defeated the Titanic Ant, all this shit runs. So we get surprise attacks on everything. Oh, should have given that to... Okay. Should have given us the surprise attack, but whatever. And like that, we now have 100 HP. We've breached that threshold. Hello, God. I may have to take Cleo downstairs for some food in a second. She is acting hungry, even though there's plenty of food in her bowl. <laughs> and there is, you little asshole. Get some, get some free XP here. But yeah, uh, when you defeat the Titanic... Ow, okay, okay, I get it, you're hungry. She's... Hungry. <laughs> Give me one second, everybody. Let me just deal with Cleo's needs and I will be right back. Plus, this offers me an opportunity to uh, refill on some water. Okay, okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Cat is happy. We like happy cat. <laughs> yeah, my cat, when she gets a little hungry, she decides to uh, like nibble and uh, nibble at my feet. She doesn't hurt. So when I say bite, she's not being vicious about it. But uh, yeah, it definitely uh, gets your attention. It's hard to ignore. <laughs> very, very hard to ignore. Yeah, I'm not fighting the rant, the, the mice. Forget that noise. And we'll take the surprise opening attack. Kill the black antoid. No one's coming to help you. <laughs> so we'll fight our way out. Getting some kind of cheap XP all the while. Really? No surprise attack there? Having some bad luck with some of my angles here. That's okay. Sure. You're not even hurt, buddy. Of that. Sure, we'll take the first one. Why not? Come on. Is it? 
go. Out we go. Gotta love the processor slow down. <laughs> Sure, yeah. Oh no. What am I gonna do about that one HP you just took off me? Sure, I'll recover. I'll recover the few HP you guys took away. Yep, thank you. That's better. Oh yeah, I never actually explained what a lot of these options even are. <laughs> I'll do that next next fight. I'm not fighting these rattles. You know what? It'll be an instant. Should be an instant, actually. Good, we'll take that. Thank you. Oh, it turned just Oh, good. Still gave it to us anyway. So the next fight that we actually fight, I'll go over some of the other various options. But since it's going to just give us XP for free, we'll take it. And then it just turns randomly, just to make sure. Whatever. miss. Oh, right. I totally forgot I was going to go over all those options. And now all the enemies are dead. <laughs> Not going to happen here. This guy's going to die. Okay. That was enough of that. I mean, since they gave it to us for free. Hey, you. The board says, do not enter. Couldn't you read it? Uh, no. What a rebellious kid. Come to the Hunted Police Station later. <laughs> Fucking great. Hello, mole. We'll save. We gotta go to the... Uh, we gotta go to the police station, which is near down the near the bottom. Good. The hotel is there. Perfect. Our nightly rate is not cheap, but we have clean sheets and rooms are secure. I'm sure you understand that this keeps us very busy. How much is it? 35. Oh, that's not bad, actually. It's your dad. I deposited $445 into your bank account. Taking what you spent, you should now have a thousand in the bank. Well, expect to get to the next level. Oh my god, I'm only 80 away from the next level? Then, uh, yeah, we're gonna go in there and get that next level. We're gonna get that next level. We're gonna go back to giant step real quick because 80. I didn't realize I should have checked. I absolutely should have checked. That's my fault. But for this next fight, that level will make a difference. It will make a difference. Holy cow, it will make a difference. Yeah, this next fight, this next fight can be uh, a little tricky. It's not as bad as the Titanic Ant, but it's. He's no pushover. And for the whole 80 XP. Of course, they're going to be running from me. Take our level. And now one more. 
Look at that. Thank you. There we go. Now we're in level 12. Offense went up by three, guts went up by two, vitality goes up by one, IQ by one, luck by two, HP by 15, and side points went up by five. Ooh, and we got a shield. Cool. Yeah, I'm thinking uh, I'm going to be glad I have that shield in a second. Yeah. Only because you're just going to give me free XP. Let's do it. Let's do it. But yeah, once I, once I finish this, fan hacks sound like a lot of fun. I am looking forward to that. But since I haven't played this game in forever, um, decided I would play the uh, standard. Now we go to the police station and <laughs> try not to die. <laughs> oh. Frank's still back there. Yep, Frank is still back there. Not get hit by the truck. Here's our police station. So here you are. You're the little delinquent that came back from Giant Step. Now you listen here. Don't enter means just that. Do not enter. You got that? And furthermore, it's usually those tax evaders. Who... We don't enjoy blocking off the roads, you know. It's usually the local whiners that make a big deal about emergencies and meteorites. <laughs> so yeah, you just wanted to tell us off. But since we're here, I'd rather be working as a parking meter cop. It's just been too busy, lady. I'm sick of it. Man, am I steamed. Don't even try talking to me. Why is the road to Tucson closed? An emergency, of course. At times like this, kids like you should be playing Nintendo games. Anyway, are you sure you want to go to Tucson? All right. <clears throat> Follow me. Show me what you've got. All right, give me just two seconds. My cat needs something else. I will be right back. Literally a minute. All right, I hear you meow. Oh, my cat. My cat, my cat. Uh, she wanted to go on the patio. I have a screened-in patio, and she was meowing at the door, and I'm like, oh, please don't let me make you go out there, let you out there. And she just kept meowing at it. It's like, all right, fine. <laughs> Hopefully, and of course, you know, while I'm doing this, uh, you know, I, I kind of leave the, the door uh, to the point where all she has to do is nudge on it, and it will pop open, so I have to keep an ear out for that. God only knows what she'll bring inside the house if she catches something out there. But anyway, show me what you got. See if you could get past five of my best men. No, imagine, right? It's obviously a video game, but imagine local cops try to beat up 10 year old kid. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, small fry, you must be shaking in your boots. <laughs> Tax with a truck crushing. Okay, so yeah, this is a good time for me to explain what's going on. So Bash is your simple standard melee attack. Psy is your psy, uh, psychic powers. So we've got offense, which right now is psy rocking. We have recover, which healing uh, recovers from ailments, colds, things like that. Life up, which restores your HP, heals wounds. Uh, and then we also have shield and hypnosis, which um, at some point, there's got to be a way to go into descriptions of this. Uh, we could also use an item. So if we need to eat a hamburger to recover some health or something. We could go in here and eat an item. Uh, I could just defend if I want. To me, that's kind of like a waste, but you know, we could always do that. 
Uh, sounds like LA, right, Ghosty? <laughs> well, why, thank you. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Edward Nipple Knives. I appreciate the follow. Welcome to the stream. We're just having some fun playing some Earthbound here. Um, kind of going over what it is. Auto just will bash every time. It will just set up so that every time it's your turn, it will just auto bash. And then we can also try to run away and escape. Uh, so feel free to be as chatty or uh, or lurk to your heart's content. We're gonna we're gonna keep fighting off these guys here. Oh right, it missed me. Cool, thanks. All right, cop turned back to normal, and we gained 86 XP. So we would have gained a level anyway. You're tough. You should join the police force. Your average policeman is stronger than any superhero. <laughs> this is great. And the cop attack. Let's do this. Roddy chops. And I'm gonna have to heal up. <laughs> well, that puts an end to that fight. Oh, good. We're gonna need that burger. I might even just use that burger next. Uh, to be frank, the cops do it. <laughs> Do it kind of hard, yeah. Oh, you won. <laughs> Don't let the mayor's compliments give you a big head. Bring it up, bad boy. Cop attacked. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna eat a burger. I'm gonna eat that burger it just gave me. That's the part that makes this fight tough is the fact that you have to fight five of them consecutively and they're pretty strong enemies 45 damage uh, and you don't get a real break in between mini mini boss rush here need to make breakfast so we'll lurk for a bit but oh yeah we're definitely having some fun enjoy your breakfast and feel free to lurk or when you get back feel free to chat uh we're, we're friendly here Enjoy your breakfast. Let's do this again sometime. <laughs> Next time, I'll take you out with my nuclear suplex attack. Come on, I'm gonna take you apart right here, right now, baby. More fun. Let's see, do this. I'm getting a little low on HP here. All right, so we got these guys. This next interaction is pretty funny. Got another 86. Man thinks he's a savage. <laughs> yeah, right? Man thinks he's savage from Final Fantasy VI. That's right. Urgh, lost. That's it, buddy. You can forget about me. I'm gonna call for my boss. <laughs> there is no way I could beat you in a straight competition. So, get ready for my super ultra mambo tango foxtrot martial arts. All right, so now we're dealing with Captain Strong here. And those extra 14 hit points come back to really help us here. Came out swinging. All right, so attack him. Of course, he's gonna guard, which works fine. All guarding does is reduce my attacks. I wish they'd guard all the time. Ah, okay. I don't remember what the submission hold does. So far, this is going pretty well for us. Okay, yeah, that hurts. That hurts a lot. But we defeated him. Dude looks like Dango from Reno 911, right? <laughs> oh, man. I didn't think he would be do so well against the mighty Onet police force. You want me to open the road to Tucson? Hang on for a sec. I'll radio my staff and give him the word. Like, er, like, Strong here. You read me? Hey, it's me, Captain Strong. All right, listen. A kid named Ness will be there in a few minutes. He's a kid in a red cap. I want you to open the road to Tucson for him. I know that. I know that. Don't ask me why. Just do it. It's an order. Strong out. <laughs> well, kid, I'm not going to question you now, but I do want to see you again. Good luck. Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there for a long time now. Maybe none of my business, but don't you think it would be a good idea if you took a break? No. <laughs> I see. Well, it doesn't make me happy, but I understand your point about the fate of the world being at stake. <laughs> Basically, if you've been out for a while... Yeah, wow, first try. <laughs> I'm not really one of the gang. I'm a cop, even if I don't uh, look like it. <laughs> yeah, why, well, thank you. And so we can come back and... Hey, what does he say? Yeah. I've been playing Earthbound lately. I'm having a tough time. <laughs> 
Hey, this is great. All right, so what we will do is we'll go to the hotel. We'll call dad. Let's see. Stats. Press A for button on Psy FO. Okay, right. So there's a deadly Psy attack, which only Ness can use. Psychokinetic wave does uh, about 50 points of damage. Restore is about 100 hit points to one person. And yeah, this can cure a cold, sunstroke, or sleep conditions. This will reduce the damage caused by an enemy attack by 50%. That's always nice. And puts an enemy to sleep. Other. Okay, so those are our. That's our breakdown for our psychic attacks and abilities. All, not, all well. <laughs> if you don't call home in a long time, you get the homesickness stat, which sucks. Yes, it does. Add positive event money in your bank account. We should not have a good amount of money in the bank. Oh, we're going to level up pretty soon, too. Yep, let's save. Let's do that. Let's actually call him. Call her, rather. Probably back sooner than I thought. Everyone here is doing just fine. Oh, yeah, Tracy just started perk of work time for Escargo Express. <laughs> Escargo Express! <laughs> I'll let you talk to her. And call me when you have some time. Oh, don't you have any free time? Well, here's Tracy. Hello, this is our Scargo Express. Oh, is that you? Big bro, me, Tracy. I'm working part-time. What can I do for you? And we can have somebody come pick up items and she'll store them. All Ness will do is cry all the time. <laughs> it's awful. <coughs> or we can get stuff that she did store to deliver it to us. So we don't have to go all the way back home to, um, to trade with Tracy. So it allows us to do it remotely is very convenient rather than having to go all the way back to own it all the time. Just like that, we are now done here. Hey, aren't you Ness? Well, I got the okay from she's strong to let you through. Take care of yourself. You're doing well. Keep it up. The town map can be checked out at the library. You can also use the map at Tucson. It's really useful. Yeah, the map changes depending on what town you go to. Yeah, free, free XP. Surprise opening a tank. We'll just open. We'll just auto. Actually, no, it's not auto. Uh, can I not undo the auto? There it is. I forgot because some of them can heal, so I might want to avoid doing that. I'm down to nine hit points. I should uh, fix that. <laughs> and the first time we did life up and we didn't get all of our okay now let me take a look here yeah we'll do this i live rent free in the mouse's house the mice are known as exit mice they're very kind and boy are they fast i really love these guys please take my son along he may look like a regular small mouse but he could lead you to an exit if you're lost in a maze Will you take one of my sons along yes He's a tough boy. You could treat him as one of your items. And so, yep. So if we're in a dungeon and we're really low on HP or something, we could just use the exit mouse and get the hell out of dodge. These should be attack slugs. Wow, they're just these guys? Shit, man. It's just these guys. <laughs> Let's be done with that. Yeah, those indispensable those mice are indispensable later. Absolutely. I was worried about the inventory slot, but I'm like, nah, I should take it. I'll take the burger. Thank you. Fucking mushroom. I was looking at it, I'm like, I get by it. I hate these rambling evil mushrooms so much you guys have no idea <clears throat> there it is there it is damn it this condition i hate because heal won't heal won't heal it oh, we gained a level if i could have gotten around this fucking mushroom i would have well so let's go back to the hospital
The problem is the mushroom makes you essentially confused. So at times it'll make you go in different directions. As time goes on, I think it gets worse and worse. But <laughs> as you're about to find out, we're going to get 50 bucks for it. I'm a healer. If you have some illness, can't be treated at the hospital. It's my job to cure you. Hey, now that I noticed, could you sell me that mushroom growing on top of your head? Come on, let's make a deal. Yes. Let me help you. But this is our healer. And if we die, this is where we can come back to. Uh, or if members of our party die, this is where we'll pick them up. Will I explain about the hospital system? No, no, no. That's not necessary. We, we know how it is. <laughs> now that you mentioned, I am pretty busy. This is our doctor, so depending on the ailment, this is the other um, doctor we could go to and get healed. Doctor is number one, hee hee hee. But we don't have any other ailments. We haven't really needed the hospital yet. He's just misunderstood. He's actually a really fun guy. I have a sound effect for that. I really don't. <laughs> I need to get a sound effect for Boo! Boo this man! <laughs> God damn, man. Oh my goodness. Some easy, easy XP here. Wah, wah, wah. And we'll just... We're gonna kill each of these in every hit, so... It doesn't really matter. Whatever. Heal him. Yeah, my cat was chasing something out on the patio this morning. To which I assume it's a lizard because whatever it was, it went into my hurricane shutters and she was just kind of like pawing at it, like the shutters themselves. So I'm like, well, something's in there that she wants. So it doesn't surprise me that she wanted to go back out in the patio. She's probably like, I know that thing I was hunting is still out there. We go stay over here long enough. Maybe we can avoid the mushroom. Okay, good. Oh, God damn it. Fucking mushroom. This one keeps going closer. I scroll off. Maybe I can make it go away. Nope, that mushroom's not going anywhere. God damn it! <laughs> God damn it! Oh, and there's another one! My <laughs> little bastards! Uh, but if we kill it before it can sprout spores. Yeah, attack me. Please attack me. Just don't scatter spores. Yes, do that. Please do that. Oh, don't miss, Ness. There we go. Okay, good. And now we'll run before that other one shows up. Okay, I hate these mushrooms so much. Gone. Oh, you little fuckers. Good, good we got past them. And now we're in our next area. We have reached it. It took us two and a half hours. <clears throat> I'm just a friendly mole. I'll tell you how to distinguish between your friends and enemies. It's easy to tell an enemy just by looking at them. Enemies look like humans with weird colored faces. Beware of them. However, you can't get more powerful if you avoid your enemies. So we got a new theme now. Welcome! Would you like me to tell you about Tucson? Sure. Tucson is a modern, clean hotel. There is a hospital and the wonderful Chaos Theater. There is the Polestar Preschool and a nice bus station. If you're curious, you might want to check out Berglin Park. It's exciting. East of town, you'll find the peaceful Rest Valley. On the other side of the valley is Happy Happy Village. There's also a pizza parlor. Do you want to know some anything else? Well, I don't know anything else. <laughs> so at this point, from this point forward in the game, we'll need to stop at hotels unless we go all the way back to want it to heal up. I don't think there's anything over here. I could also rent a bike and we can wander around on a bike if we so choose. Oh. But first, let's get a picture taken. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. He just says the same thing. Say fuzzy pickles. <clears throat> always bring back the fondest of memories. But in this case, I am not going to get the cycle here because, as you can see, if I pick up the cycle, it's going to take up an inventory slot. And the bike really isn't all that useful. It, you can't use a, you can't use the bike if you have a teddy bear. 
and you can't have the bike once you have another party member. So you'd have a bike while you're solo, and that's about it. <laughs> Dr. Demento. Um, but we may as well save since we made it here. We really don't need hit points or side points at the moment. Get some more money. Man, we got a lot of money. We'll definitely want to hit up the drugstore and see what we could buy here. I'm sure. I mean, we could go to the ATM here, but we may as well go to the ATM at the drugstore. So let's take a look. We got Tucson here. We got the hospital up in the upper right. And the department store is kind of just down the street from us. So we'll do this first. Go to the department store. Oh, talk to this dude. I saw some weird bad guy following Paula. This guy gave me the creeps. Strange men spiraling from the sky talking about fuzzy pickles and talk taking your picture should be reported to the authorities immediately. <laughs> this department store isn't crowded. I like that. I always feel much better after hearing my mom's voice over the phone. I was really homesick recently. My mom cheered me up. You should really call your mom sometime. Believe me, those melancholy feelings will be gone before you know it. <laughs> Just what Freakbot was talking about. Welcome to the ATM. Yep, let's draw some money. Like to return something? No. Oh, that's good. Please stop by again. I don't know if, I, if it even lets you. You want to buy a ticket to the Runaway 5 show? Uh, yeah, let's do that. We only have box seats, which cost $20. Will that be okay? Oh, wait, the box seats sold out a long time ago. Oops. Uh, the box seats are the most popular. <laughs> so the Runaway 5 show is sold out. Good to know. Up the escalator we go. Take a look. I heard a meteorite crashed on a hilltop near Onet. Must have been exciting. So we got a bakery. We got a burger place. I think my grandchild is older than you. He's a famous inventor. He lives here, and people call him Orange Kid. He seems to be popular with the girls because he's groovy. Orange Kid sucks. Like, he seems like a... I guess he's a nice kid, right? But Orange Kid sucks. <laughs> I... God damn it. I want to visit my boyfriend in three, except the bus won't go there. I wonder why. There we go. There's the shop. The teddy bear they sell over there. I heard it helps in battle. I don't know what they're talking about. It looks like a plain old teddy bear to me. Hi, right, can I help you? Let's, let's buy. Okay, we're not going to buy the teddy bear yet. But um, the teddy bear can take attacks. And it, it it's essentially a party member that doesn't do anything. But it has a hit point pool. So enemies might target it. And they'll hit the teddy bear instead of you. The only problem is at some point the teddy bear will turn into a pile of fluff. Let's see. None of these. Yeah. None of these are good. I'm not going to buy money on the slingshot. We'll just stick with this for now. The slingshot is technically better, but I tend to miss a lot more with it. I already have the cheap bracelet. Now nah, we're just going to keep this shit. All right. Well, that sucked. Thought I'd find stuff, but no. There's just an arcade up here. All right, we will talk to you. Okay, well, never mind. This... This drugstore kind of sucks. <clears throat> so what we'll do is we'll just put this money back in the ATM. Because if we die, we won't lose that money now. Here's the cast theater. Hey, the boogie's back. It's the Runaway Five's night. I had some connections. I could waltz in, but I'm just a regular Joe. Guess I lost my tickets. Now I can't get in. The ticket counter at the department store was even sold out. Hello, please present your ticket. I can't. Now I don't need to see Poochie Fun, the manager. These guys look a little familiar. We, that's right. We're the Runaway Five. We're popular, but not rich. We're being cheated by this theater, and we're really deep in debt. <laughs> but the girl lives in the preschools to talk to the town. I want to see her someday. 
Alright, so the Runaway Five are stuck. We got Berglund Park. Berglund Park seems kind of dangerous, but there's some great stuff here. There's the preschool. Oh, here's our first enemy. But I don't know really fight right now. Paula isn't here. She suddenly left, and I don't know where she went. Let's go to the here. The whole OST is such fire. When I grow up, I want to be just like Paula. Well, I wanted to play with Paula, but she's gone somewhere. Paula's like a mother to me. I may not be able to comprehend my emotions. I might have a baby face, but I possess the mind of an adult. I beg your pardon? What's the winner? Makes me smile all the while. I'm Paula's mother. I'm busy taking care of these kids. You shouldn't worry about Paula. She has a guardian angel, it seems. Have you watched any of the Fallout series? I have not yet watched the Fallout series. I need to start uh, catching that at some point. So you want to see Paula? Many come to see her miraculous powers, but they're just leeches. So I'm for your TV station or what? No. To meet you or not to meet, you can only be decided by Paula. She said that she would only meet with a boy named Ness. So you're Ness. You're the one that I was in Paula's dream. You will save the world. Let me go call her. Yeah, I need to watch the Fallout series. It's funny how much Fallout I used to play on stream. And we'll at some point play again. And right now, Fallout's all sorts of popular. And I'm like, oh, God, to play that, I'd have to. Well, I mean, I could just play it vanilla, but then I'm like, oh, but to really play it the way I would like. I'd have to download all of those mods again. And I'm just like, oh, <laughs> it's just it's such an excruciating, brutal process. Um, she doesn't seem to be here. I wonder where she went. I'm sorry, could you come back later? And now he's going to freak out because he doesn't know where his daughter is. <laughs> it's really good. The production value is insane. Well, that's good to hear. I was really worried about it. But it's good to hear that the uh, early returns are nice on that. So here's Orange Kid. Greetings, I'm Orange Kid, the inventor. Have you heard of me? I'm a bit embarrassed about my reputation. I have a lot of inventions in development, but I'm running short of cash. I'm basically a happy-go-lucky person, so I'm not worried. You know, I'm working on this machine that would really help you in Peaceful Rest Valley. I hope it's ready soon. What? You're actually willing to help finance the project? Uh, no. I guess it was just too hopeful. Oh, well, never mind. Apple Kid. He is a little bit of a slob. Well, I've sort of neglected to do it in my housework. Yeah, I see that. I know it's a bit of a pigsty, but anyway, I'm Apple Kid. I haven't taken a bath in quite a while, so might kind of stink. By the way, I'm starving. Do you have something to eat? If you do, can I have some? Yes. What can you give me? Have the hamburger. Thanks, you seem very nice. Uh, I wonder if maybe you would like to invest some money in my inventions? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, excuse me. I mean, thank you. By the way, I can really use... Okay, he needs $200. Uh, well, I don't have it. Flop down anywhere. All right, so I'll come back once I have 200 bucks. I have a mouse. No one has given me a name yet. Let's see here. There's a broken machine inside. We'll take the broken machine. All right, so we need to come back here once I have $200. Yeah, it's just woods that whole way. Boss of, boss of Berglund Park is ever dread. He's got ties to burglaries and kidnappings in this area. He's a scary guy. Look at my pots. I like pots, but what I really want is the tool shop for sale sign. It's right there. Should I steal it? Hmm. <laughs> but if you buy that egg, it'll hatch into a uh, chick. Just because you didn't buy an egg. Alright, so you're that. You're the baker. Hey, don't you want to buy the world's greatest ruler? <laughs> no. That's two clams. Alright, so I don't have money. I need to come back. I need to come back with more, more any kind of money at some point. Somebody in here sells... these sold better stuff. Why well, we don't have to bribe any crooked cops. 
There's Everjet on the roof. He's going to attack us once we go a little close to him. It's not great. We're fine. Life up. Yeah, all right. Well, so, so this begins. Ha 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 ha! Why don't we chat after we've locked horns? Hey, Warhammer, what's going on, buddy? Stop downloading now for the dream has happened. Yeah, right? So, this is the first time I've seen you. How did the, uh, oh, I thank you for completing another orbit around the sun. Speaking of Solar Circumnavigation Day, how was the eclipse? Did you get good weather out there? This is the first time I've gotten a chance to talk to you. Attacking. He does hit pretty hard. Yeah, that's the problem. He could do that. Yeah, we're gonna life up. Come on, come on, come on! Oh, come on! You gotta go faster than that. Damn it. That was bad luck. Yeah, we're gonna give it another shot. <laughs> so that's two. <laughs> Solar Eclipse was awesome. I'm glad. I was really worried that uh, that it would be cloudy, but uh, damn, man. Uh, all right, well, let's get 200 bucks. Yep, he can he can fuck you up. And I remembered that. I remembered him being a little challenging. The problem is he fucking smashed me. <laughs> Hola! Where are you? It's time for a yummy piece of pie! <laughs> Whoops. I had to drive out from uh, Austin for like two hours in the northeast until I found a clear spot. Ah, but you did it! Nice! Yeah, that is on my bucket list, man. One day, one glorious day, I will see a solar eclipse. Hopefully right from my own backyard. Uh, right, now we want to go to Apple Kid and do that first. Oh, right. Our side points are zero. Ugh. All right, we'll, uh, we'll do this, and then we'll just go. We'll pay for the hotel. Yep, we got a while. Seems like you're expecting something from me. Maybe you would like to invest some money in my inventions? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, excuse me. I mean, uh, thank you. By the way, I could really use $200. Thank you. I won't let you down. I am a mouse. No one's given me a name yet. You took care of my master. In return, I want to give you this. Please take it and say nothing. And now we got the receiver phone. Oh, I must be in your way. <gasps> yeah, it's a phone that we can receive calls from, but we can't send calls out on. <laughs> Paul is not home yet. Uh, Everger in Bur Burglar Park might note something. Oh boy, now I'm really worried. Ugh. Yeah, fine. We'll fight you guys. I need to get to the hotel. And, uh... Heal my side points here. Get attacked by the cop. Not a big deal. So that's enough for that guy. At this point, this battle's over. We'll get some XP. Nothing crazy. See how much XP we got for that. Solar Cups happy somewhere in Earth every eight. Yeah, it's about eight every 18 months. Usually over water, but yeah. The Earth gets them plenty. It's just <laughs> we we don't get them very often. And we're definitely not getting another one in North America for a while. It's another reason why it's nice to save in hotels, because if you do get your ass handed to you, you can just immediately get a hotel room. Yep. Florida is 2045. Technically, Montana is going to be 2044. I say it'll cost you 50. All right. See you next time. We got 50. Rejuvenate everything. But all the better that we deposited all that money. Otherwise, we would have lost like 700 bucks by dying. That would have sucked.
technically Montana is more empty than state. Yeah, it's true. Ness? Ness. I'm a friend who you've never met before. My name is Paula. Can you hear me calling you? I'm Paula. Ness. Hi, Paula. I am Paula. Can you hear me calling you? Help. Come and help me. I, I don't know where I am. I can hear water running in the distance. Ness, please help me. Nearly all of the Mediterranean. That'll be pretty cool. So one of the neat parts about this game, when you uh, stay at a hotel, the newspaper, how about reading the newspaper before you go? Here's this morning's Tucson Tribune headline. The brave local hero named Ness who broke up the sharks has left one it. Reports that the mayor stopped the sharks have proven to be false. <laughs> and the headlines will change as you kind of go. Uh, oh, this is the one. Yeah, this is the guy. I remembered that. I kept talking to somebody and uh, won it. Yeah, this is the one. Yeah, I would have remembered this. Later days, pal. It's so hot today. It rocks. Is it cold today? Oh, ho, ho, see ya. Here, get yourself a juice or something. ka -ching. We just got $50, so we're now back and even. Now I have Mike and the mechanic stuck in my head. <laughs> All I need is a miracle. Ah, here's the dude with the mushroom. Do I have a mushroom on my head? Yes, you do. Recently, I couldn't walk quite right because of this mushroom. It's actually kind of fun, so I'll leave it there. <laughs> Whatever, buddy. Now we'll save. Now we can talk to him a whole bunch of times. My plan is to go to Gibraltar for the August 2nd, 2027 uh, total solar eclipse. Oh, silent running. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so that's when the Kraken returns. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Gibraltar sounds awesome, though. Depending on how much it costs. Depending on how much it costs, that sounds fun. I might go with you. Now we go back and we fuck up Everdread. He's really not too bad as long as you don't get critted and then get left with very low hit points. So let's do this again. Where is this guy? Oh, now we just go in here and we'll find him. Mwahaha, <laughs> why don't we chat later after we locked horns? We'll get him this time. I hope. Ever dread attacked. <laughs> you biting attack? The fucker bites me? I don't remember that shit. Okay, now he's missing a whole bunch. Now I need to heal. Now at any point he can crit me and it's over. I was kind of on the low side. Yeah, he keeps biting me. Worse than my cat. Oh, Ness, you can't miss, buddy. Shit, now we gotta heal again. First this time. Dude! Although of all the things to steal, a cookie is totally what to steal. UK politics make fun of uh, Gibraltar because... People all pretend that they forgot this part of the UK. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get my passport updated. Alright, so we gained a nice good chunk of XP. Yes, I'm Evertrid, boss of Burglin Park. When I jumped off the roof, I twisted my ankle. Anyway, I lost, and nothing will change that. You know, you're pretty strong. Yeah, I know about you want to find about a girl named Paula. She went off to a secret hideout in Peaceful Rest Valley. A chubby boy and a weird guy in a blue outfit had kidnapped her, though chubby boy in a weird guy in a blue outfit, huh? They said that they were going to make Paula some sort of human sacrifice. They were definitely hardcore strange. You know, she may have gone already. You better hurry. If you save Paula, be sure to come back here, okay? Don't forget. Now we need to go to Peaceful Rest Valley. Boss, oh yeah, right, we already talked to you. Is there anything else in town that I really want to do here? 
I don't think there's anything in town really to do. Down we go. I think these two just gossip. Yeah, stupid slob the applicant. Oh, he's asked me for something to eat. He's the inventor. He should invent some food for himself. I'm nuts about this one kid inventor. No, not that airheaded dweeby applicant. I'm talking about the incredibly hot orange kid. Welcome to Mock Pizza. We don't sell people's here. Sell pizza here. We only deliver. Let me give you our number so you can place an order sometime. The best pizza is Mock Pizza. The number is... You got that? All right, cool. So now we can order Mock Pizza. Um, should be okay. Yeah, we should be okay. I'm thinking about catching a bus to three. I heard there are ghosts along the way. I wonder if the bus will have to turn around and come back. I never used mock pizza. No, but I always like having the phone number. That's right, I'm a bus driver. For now, I'm resting. Life is long. Take it easy, chubs. Why don't you check on your town map and learn about this area? Take the bus or not to take the bus? I get scared pretty easily. <laughs> I was in the last war, so I'm not scared of ghosts. Actually, I'm more scared of my old lady. This town's bus system is a little strange. Be sure to check the bus stop signs. I wonder who came up with the system. So essentially, you go to the bus stop sign, and then there's always a bus coming and then you can get on the bus. This game predicted fast food restaurants no longer taking orders at the register. Yes, it did. If you go to the east, you could run into trouble. Peaceful Rest Valley and Happy Happy Village are waiting for you. I've also heard that there are UFOs in Peaceful Rest Valley. Yes, there are. Happy Happy Village ahead. And so uh, what Deep Fry is alluding to is a lot of those UFOs fire uh, cold-inducing beams and they can give you a cold. But I think we're okay. We actually have one bit of cold medicine. But for the rest of that, we'll have Psy powers to heal us up. Because Psy Alpha will heal a cold. Um, you know, I'm hunting for mushrooms. I'm going to collect a ton. So if we get mushroomed, we can just go back to her and that will deal with it. Here they are. And these things can get behind you really easily. Front the little LFO. Depending on how this goes, I may go back for that slingshot. But... I usually try not to equip slingshots. Oh, we gained a level though. Offense went up by a good two. There we go. We just got paralysis alpha. And of course, Crossbridge to Happy Every Happy Every Village is out. I like this theme too. I mean. Sorry. Aren't sneezing. Yeah, I do nothing but sneeze today. Crazy. For some weird reason, pencil shaped iron statue is blocking the path. So we've done all that we can here. Always nice to find a. Ah, uh, that's why, I, yeah, I mean, I, I sort of see that. <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> I really didn't want to fight that thing right now. Oh, God damn it. <clears throat> The rambling evil mushroom has to go first. I hate getting um, a spore sprinkled on my head. Good. That tails with the mushroom. This I'm not so worried about. But they can drain your psi powers, which sucks. They're just there solely to debuff the shit out of you. <clears throat> Very annoying.
Perfect. Right on time. Hello, this is Apple Kid. I've just finished work on this great invention. Get over here as fast as you can. This thing is so cool. See you soon. Slam. Beep. Yeah, sure. That was convenient timing. All right, so this part, the bike would actually come in handy. Hey, Orange Kid, what's going on? You're looking for that so-called genius Apple Kid? As a true genius, I'll tell you, he's in Burgundy Park looking for you. Just in case I wasn't at max side points. God damn it, lady. <laughs> Meet the cranky lady. Okay, Karen. Oh my god! Hey, you have a big grin on your face until I knock some sense into you. There you go. I can't believe how much she took out half my freaking health there. I don't remember her being that hard. <laughs> Jeez, man. Let's life up. We'll encounter a couple of butterflies on the way back. It should be over here somewhere. I'm feeling really out of it because I've been working all night, but finally the pencil eraser is ready. This machine will eradicate all pencil-shaped figures in just one second. It's incredibly powerful. Just don't use it near a shop that sells pencils. Here, it's yours now. Monaco would be a nice place to visit. That is what I've heard. If I invent some other brilliant item, I'll call you. I'm a mouse. My master is always I'm waiting for you. We started to nod off while waiting. Uh, yes? Sure. I don't remember why I would want the ruler, though. Hmm. No, we'll keep all that stuff for now. But this is, we do, we do encounter difficulties with, um, with our inventory and it begins. <laughs> it's awesome when we get Paula and just for the sheer sake of number one, you're not just the only person fighting hordes of enemies, but yeah, uh, the option to just be able to have her hold on to some stuff is awesome. Okay. At least it's not a mushroom. That's a lot of Sai just drained for me. Dear, good. Got that run out of the way. I think it's a trade quest item, maybe. I don't know. It would be awesome to visit Egypt for the solar crypts, but I think it's still not stable there. Yeah, Egypt is not uh, the greatest place to visit. Um, but by... By 20, I mean, we're only talking a couple of years. Things might stabilize there. But yeah, hard to plan ahead, you know? We didn't pick up any mushrooms. There it is. There it is. It's only a matter of time. Well, now we've already got it, so whatever. <laughs> Shoots a beam that causes night's time stuffiness. <laughs> well, we'll just use the cold medicine. That we have. Cold remedy. Yep. Drank the cold remedy. And Ness got over the cold. It was only a matter of time. Only a matter of time. Now we 
used the pencil eraser. For some weird reason, the iron pencil statue was erased. <laughs> You'll need one later, but you get one for free beforehand anyway. Never mind. It was just a picture. I love some of the spots that he just hops onto. Just a boulder in the middle of the ro river. <laughs> so we've gotten three pictures today in this... Rather not fight that thing. Ugh. Of course, I don't have to. Okay. We can outrun it. Goodbye, tree. Really didn't feel like uh, fighting that. Ugh. Just your psychotic break being manifest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Looking at the travel advisories and travel to Bel uh, Belarus is not advised. What's happening? If, really? You you don't know what's happening in Belarus? <laughs> uh, yeah, Belarus is uh, is not a good place to visit right now. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, I could talk to you uh, off stream, like on Discord or something about and get you caught up on that. Sprouts attacking. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, you were being sarcastic. <laughs> Shit. All right, let's fight these guys. <laughs> Seed in sprouts. So basically, it's it's essentially its version of uh, calling for help. I hate that these guys drain me, man. Yeah, I'd much rather them just attack me. I mean, I'll still have to use life up, but it's better than... Um, well, at least it did it now before I attacked it. Seed didn't sprout. Good. Didn't, couldn't, couldn't duplicate itself. <clears throat> We're continuing to gain XP. That is good. Yes. Side points. Now, this is a fairly challenging part of the game. Travel charm inside. I don't remember what the travel charm does, but now we can equip it. Travel charm. Must be equipped on your body. Protects you from paralysis attacks. Right. <clears throat> Sprouts over here again. Mm. We'll eat the luck capsule. Luck goes up by one. Now we gotta fight the damn thing. <clears throat> I hate these. You engage the territorial oak. God damn it. I remember this thing being fairly tough. And normally I can outrun it. But I don't remember. This is why I hate it. 
Oh, thank goodness it didn't work on me. And it hits hard. And it's tough, too. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Right. It explodes and kills you. It's awful. It's fucking awful. Yeah, I knew we weren't going to be able to avoid all of those. They're just going to drain the shit out of me now. Yep. Gotta love debuffing enemies. That was at least negligible. God <laughs> damn it! <laughs> oh, come on, man. <clears throat> You know what? Okay. Fine. It's gonna drain it anyway, so I may as well get use out of those side points. It's gonna drain anyway. Oh, you bastard. How did you survive that? Alright. Oof. Taking our beating here, but we got, we went up another level. HP went up by 12. Good. We need that. <clears throat> Rest are just modest gains. Yes. Give me that butterfly. <sighs> Boy, did I need that magic butterfly. <laughs> we were really, really low. Uh, but now I'll talk to this guy. I wonder who made the bridge impassable. Why would someone do this? This this is another really good one. I forgot tree moved in this game. Yeah, they do. We attack the spinning robo. Here it is. We caught a cold. Oh, damn thing dodging. <clears throat> Oh, damn it. Now we're gonna only do half damage to it until we bash that shield down. I mean, if I had more Psy points, I would just use Psy against it at this point. Ugh. Come on, come on, come on. Please kill it. Thank you. Oof. All right, Seraph, playing games with that. Oh my goodness. And if we start moving, we'll continue to take damage every time I sneeze. So first things first, we heal. Got over the cold. Life up. Yeah. All right, well, we'll take that croissant. <clears throat> Think that heals like 80 or 90 or something. Yeah, unfortunately, we're just not very tough yet, so we need to fight as few things as possible. Take that bomb. Let's see, what do we got? Sixty HP. You know what? Good. We're gonna eat this skip sandwich. Now we should be able to avoid some of these things a little more easily. God damn it. Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> right? Oh, come on. Quit giving me a fucking cold, you assholes. Of course it dodged. Yeah, we're having a hard time here. Probably because I don't remember where how to get through this. Okay. That's 
Go. Where's the next magic butterfly? Really could use a magic butterfly right around now. Yep. All right. Well, at least there's only one. So fine, we'll fight the spinning robo. frequently associate this music damn it with the uh, starman these guys are just really having their way with me here well yeah sure spam that now I already have a cold not gonna do any more damage to me Oof. need some more XP though we continue to get stronger. We need to heal. <sighs> this is where I primarily, this is where I'll use most of my healing items. Yes! Give me that fucking butterfly right now. Yeah, you hit the flu. Yeah, they they love doing that. But now I've got more Psy ability to heal it. I think there's something worth getting over there. But at this point, I'm kind of on the ropes, so I really don't want to be kind of doing this shit. That's where we need to go. That house right there. Give me just one second. Chat. Just came back inside. Let me just close the door. change <laughs> my good old cat i uh, meet a lot of ex pillars people and they uh, interest me in visiting there i mean I, outside of the political situation i'm sure it's a lovely place to visit Okay, maybe we can get past the tree. Fucking mobile sprouts. I almost wonder. Only cost 10. You know what? Fuck it. They're gonna drain that anyway. I may as well just fuck them up. Damn, that didn't kill that one. Ugh. God damn it! That was the point of. No well, only drained two. <laughs> Come on, man! <laughs> Oh, these mobile sprouts. There we go. Yeah, let's not let's not experiment too too much there. Let's get a place where I could recuperate here. Then we can kind of 
explore a little bit more. Yeah, we're getting close. Only we're, we're now back down to a three digit number experience for the next level. So we are getting there. We'll get to level 16 fairly quickly. Now we're in a very creepy place. Welcome to Happy Happy Village. One day, Mr. Carpainter received a revelation. He now speaks the real truth. Excuse me, tourist. I'm collecting donations to help protect the world from contaminants. Donate whatever you can. Uh, sure. Your good deed will be rewarded. Here's a postcard for you. Ness got the picture postcard. Go and be happy. Yeah, these cultists are going to attack me in a second. <laughs> the one the one place that's not blue yet. Mr. Carpenter communicates with the divine, so he's able to deliver inspired messages. Ah, there we go. I'm not sure, boing, friends. In Valley Behind Threed. Ding, ding. <laughs> that's a nice little... Uh... That overweight kid helped me. We kidnapped Paula. You know, uh, you know, she's hidden in a mountain cabin. Oh, oh, now I've done it. I thought you were one of us. You know I was joking. Ha <laughs> ha, just forget about this. Oh yeah, this dude's cool. Ah, uh, it's Utah. We're all like one big happy family here in Happy Happy Village. Basically, our policy is to only allow family members to stay here in the village. However, if you're interested in learning about happy happyism, and maybe make, let you stay for fifty dollars. God damn it! Disrespect. Get out and stay out. I thought he would let you stay for free. Fuck. All right. So I need. Damn it. Mm. Hopefully, there's an ATM in here. Shit. This is where I was planning to stay. God, and I picked up a fucking postcard too. Jesus. Mr. Carpenter's messages always move me. Is there a drugstore here? Mr. Carpenter wants a girl. No, I don't mean like that. I mean, he's looking for a girl who could be a high priestess of happy happies. And I heard he already has her. I'm trying to avoid getting into any fights here. But you may not believe it. I'm a healer. Good. I'm going to need that. I forgot about you. Oh, here's the hospital. Good deal. Shouldn't need a hospital here. That I definitely don't want to go to yet. I'm monitoring those who don't pay at the food stand. I've heard many footprints exist deep down in East Cave. People call that place Lovely Footsteps and it makes them feel uneasy. Hmm. Not a drugstore here? Maybe there isn't a drugstore. I didn't think there was, but I'm like, shit, man. Oh, yes. Fucking butterfly. Get over here. Yeah, I'll just, just give me the side point. Yes, please. Utah, the only place in the USA with dirty soda, aka swig locations. So really don't feel like fighting a bunch of these assholes at the moment. Let's just be efficient with our time. It sucks about the AT lack of ATM, though. Damn. Is this All of our bro Yeah, there it is. Okay. Good. Let's buy. Don't need, a don't need any of that stuff. Come on, tell me you... There we go, the Sandlot bat. Definitely need that. We'll definitely want the copper bracelet. The Holmes hat. Okay, so let's just grab all my money. We certainly picked up a lot of money. Information on the back of the refreshing herb reads as follows. Catch a cold. Or you're ill and you can't seem to heal. Or you're poisoned. Yeah, the refreshing herb pretty much is a nice little healing item.
Yeah, this is the problem. You get to a point where... Definitely don't want to sell that bomb. I need that bomb. So yeah, sell the croissant. Yes, that's a big upgrade. Buy the Holmes hat. Decent upgrade. Yep, buy that. Helps make things a little cheaper. And yes, we'll buy that copper bracelet. These are always the more expensive items, but they're worth it. Uh, no, we're good. We'll save most of our money. Hell, I might even save the game there in a second. Actually, let's do that. Yeah, if I had more inventory slots, actually, it might be worth it to buy a mock pizza and have it delivered. <laughs> but I've gone entire playthroughs where I haven't done any, um... I haven't ordered a single mock pizza. I think I did it in my first playthrough just to see what it was, but not too many afterwards. So yeah, you abducted Paula. Hey there, buddy. Yo, hmm. Make sure to do your blue blue chat before bedtime. But now I'm truly full. Alright. Now I feel a little better. Don't feel like I have to avoid fights now. Specifically. There you go, buddy. Got an insane cultist here. Yeah, I don't want these guys um, calling for help yet. <laughs> happy, happy. Sure. Now you gave me a magic butterfly. I mean, it gave me a magic butterfly before. Can't really complain about that. No surprise here. We got cultists. And thanks to the kid that kidnapped her telling us where she was, we can now go there. I mean, we could have just found it just by looking around, but it is convenient that we know exactly where she is. Well, one more of these and I should level up. I think these are your standard crows, too. They're just annoying. I think these are, like, our spiteful... Yeah, spiteful crow. We're gonna kill these things in one hit. Bastards. They're just annoying. But they can steal shit. So they're, gonna, they're not gonna give us any XP. They dodge a lot. <laughs> they're so annoying. I hate them so much. All right, come on. Let's do this. We got this. Hmm. Oh, well, we don't really need a cookie, but sure. Why not? Who are you, Ness? Ness, I'm so glad it's you. I had a dream that a boy named Ness was my destiny. I know it's hard to believe. Therefore, I knew you would rescue me. If you didn't come, I would have to try to bust out of here. You can't open the door? You'll have to get the key from Carpenter. He's got it hidden away. I heard Carpenter can control lightning. In that case, you should wear this Franklin badge, okay? And we got the Franklin badge. I'll wait here until you return. Come back here and get me uh, out once you defeat Carpenter. Don't worry about me. Just kick butt like I know you can. Hi, cat. Come on. Hi, cat. 
Oh, look at that. Hey, Ness, you're just here to bother me, aren't you? You could call me Master Pokey, since Mr. Carpenter made me an important person in Happy Happyism. You should join us, but I know you won't. I'm glad I joined. I'm not going to fight you, but these guys will. Later, Potato. Like, God damn it, Pokey. The insane cultist and his cohorts. Yeah, let's deal with this crow first. I don't feel like dealing with it stealing my shit. <gasps> Come on. Not that it's a threat, but at least we'll get it out of there. I love how they paint and do damage to you. <laughs> it's a paint attack. Wow, they're really whittling down my HP, though. Come on, come on, come on. Get me down way too low. But no one came. Good. All right. My HP are maxed out again. Now we bash the shit out of this guy. And one more. We got this guy. Got a little interesting there for a minute, but we're good. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Offense went up by four. That's pretty good. He went up by two. All in all, not too shabby. That's it, Pokey. Run. I hate that guy so much. But so we know we need to deal with Car Painter. And as long as we have the Franklin badge in our inventory, it will uh, defect lightning for the rest of the game. It's not just um, a very specific moment here. Blue, blue. Oh, you'd like to be one of us? Then get up out of your doing and go meet the great Mr. Carpenter as soon as possible. I can't believe I have a picture postcard. Like, what a fucking waste. I felt sad and empty. Wait, did I just give myself a status ailment? No, I did not. Good. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I should call Tracy and try to get her to pick up this picture postcard. Man, we'll see. Blue, blue, don't bother us. We're in the middle of prayer. Okay, I'll move out of your way. Go quickly. Uh, I'll stand somewhere else. This one's going to fight me there. Nope. This one. What? Blocking you? Oh, okay, I'll move over here, right? Armatopoeia is full speed ahead, or something like that. No, I'll crush you. Yeah, I talked to the wrong one. I must have talked to that But yeah, we got a maze. <laughs> we literally have a maze of cultists praying in a uh, cult chamber. <laughs> Seeing cultists turn back to normal. Good old happy, happy village as we try to rescue Paula here. Did, did he do it? What did he do? Did, 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 did he do it all? Do uh, did he? <laughs> so, uh, this blue, blue. What? Are you saying I'm only capable of walking in place? That's not true. See? There we go. Green, green. Oops, that's not it. I'm still doing this. I don't think that's anything I need. I don't need a skip sandwich. We're good. Blue, blue. I'm still learning, trying to learn how to whistle. Oh, uh, whistling makes one smile. I'll practice over there. And now uh, you fight me, probably. <laughs> you strange unmasked fellow, don't go to heaven! <laughs> I love these fucking cultists, man. Some more damage to it. Damn, it 
day is flying by. Of course, these guys just go in a circle around here. I love this game. I could play this all day. Let's see how I'm doing here. Eh. Actually, I could have used that croissant if I could have uh, gotten rid of something, but oh well. I think we're okay here. Aye! I screamed because I didn't know what else to do. <laughs> All right. And that looks familiar, right? Lie or exaggerate, dig that up in, uh, in Onet right behind our house. But here's Carpainter. How can I, uh, how can a clam cram in a clean creep? Oh, goodness gracious, Warhammer. You're really going to make me do this? <laughs> how can a clam cram in a clean creep? Cream can. I think I got that that time. <laughs> Thanks for coming. I've been waiting for you. I need your assistance to help make the world blue. And of course, if we talk to this guy before we talk to Paula, he will kill us instantly here and change it into a happy and peaceful society. Will you be my right hand assistant? No. If you don't want to be my right hand, my left would be just fine. Just kidding. Your existence is a problem for me and my religion. Defy me and I'll end your pitiful game. Car painter's lightning was reflected by the Franklin badge by the Fla Franklin badge. Here we go. Yeah, tongue twisters. Nope. Not happening, buddy. So the, yeah, he can heal himself. That's the problem. So the, the, the boom, boom attack is a lightning attack. Yeah, tongue twisters. Yeah, pain attack. I'm not missing. Let's just life up. Yeah, the boom bang attack is lightning. Wow, it's missing a lot. But even if it hits, actually, I want it to hit now because the Franklin badge will reflect it against him. Ah, he's protected by the psychic shield. Well, so that... That lightning that reflects back may not do damage to him anymore. Let's see. No, still missing. Wow. And you can tell it it's going to miss by the sound. If it sounds a little clearer, then it's going to hit. And then the animation will start. Oh, you bastard. Just undid so much damage. Missing. Man, that thing just misses all over the place. This is a little tedious. Reverse choker hit me. Oh, now that shield is super strong. So there's no point to even use my really strong ability. But there we go, we got him. Eventually you just hit him enough, he runs out of hitch points. He's not especially difficult. We'll gain some XP. Oh, we're going to level by there, but we only gain two HP and one side point. Do you see the many, many statue behind me? Since I got the statue, I've been doing peculiar things. Please forgive me if you can. I just wanted to have a normal life. I apologize to everyone. Here's the key to open the jail in the mountain cabin where Paula is being held. Take the key and go. Your backpack is full. Oh, fuck. You take this even if you need to throw away one of your items. Yep, we need to throw something away. Ugh. God damn it. We need all of these. So yeah, let's drop the bomb. And now we do this whole thing. Yep, because we need the key to the cabin. Ness got the key to the cabin. Alright. Well, the bomb would have been nice, but oh well. <laughs> need to pick up more fellow. Yep, we're about to do that. So you don't have to fight a loon. That's right. Yeah, these guys cleared out real quick. I already just woke up and left. There are only three people remaining. I don't want to stay. I'll get out of here. So yeah, we'll call Tracy and we'll have her pick up some of these items. Fucking pokey. What a horrible nightmare. I somehow woke up. Ness, let's be friends again. Please answer me. I promise to be good. Uh, okay. Hmm. 
Yeah, I lied. See you, sucker. Hey, maybe footprint. Oh, right. I talk to you that way. Woke up from the dream. Finally, I have a chance to apologize. <laughs> It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. <laughs> oh, man. Goddamn crows. I'm not saying that. <laughs> I saw it, I saw it, I saw it, I saw it, you. <laughs> Actually, I just did. Shit. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, fine, Warhammer. You win. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Leave the cookie behind. We will leave the cookie behind. Thank you, Ness. You're just like I imagined you would be. I'm sure that some people in Tucson are worried about me. Getting back there may be dangerous, but we could do it if we combine our strength. I'm able to use a little psychic power that's actually pretty deadly. Understatement, her psychic fucking powers are crazy. Uh, put that cookie down. Let's head back to Tucson. And just like that, Paula joins us. Now, fun part, when you gain a new party member, she is level one. <laughs> so that's the awesome part about the teddy bear. It makes it more likely they'll hit the teddy bear and not her. So that'll help her survive these first couple of levels. See so yeah, ya, Warhammer, you were just talking about that. Right, I should also explain what Paula's are. But the crow's gonna die right there. <laughs> sure. Right, because the key to the cabin got used up, so I had an inventory slot. But now we can go back and we can pick up the croissant and the other thing. And we will do that. See, now we got a brigade behind us. Oh, and the town's already not blue anymore. <laughs> that is very convenient. One thing we will do here, really fast. Get some money. Draw. Because we're going to go over here and we're going to buy Paula some shit. Hello? Yes. Paula's offense changed from 2 to 12. Bracelet for her as well. Put that here. And we are going to equip her with the ribbon. And her defense changed from 12 to 32. <laughs> you underground now in the shop? I oh, know we're not we're not underground. Um we will save the game though. Yeah, we'll spend a dollar and call him. Forward. Paul is going to gain a lot of XP in a very short amount of time. Very short. <laughs> so that's where we're going to need to go in a second. Let's see. Is there anything else I really want to do here? 
You know what? Let's let's sleep at the guy's house. Freshen up a little bit. Mr. Carpenter was pretty strange, but so was everyone else. Yep. That is true. We might have been listening to evil messages rather than good. <laughs> you think? You really think I was a bad boy? <laughs> yeah. Kidnapping people is fucking wrong. I shouldn't have to tell you that. Get that XP. Oh yeah, we'll be doing that in a second. Please forgive my lecture earlier. No, welcome to stay free of charge. Would you like to stay? Oh, gotcha. Okay, yes, I would like to stay. On your blue sheets, I'm just kidding. Ha ha ha. Okay, we had to pay him $50 before and now it's totally free. I was remembering it being free. I'm like, really? I don't remember paying to stay here, but that's okay. That's why. That's Seraph's memory kicking in finally. Okay, so now we are at full. And Ness will be able to help her out. My wife has run away for a second time. I'm such a lucky man. <laughs> okay there, buddy. Uh, yep, okay. Now we go now we go to the second sanctuary location. Now we're underground. We got moles to worry about. Oh, right. I should have gone in and gotten the croissant. Fuck. Whatever. We'll do that in a second. The mole playing rough. Okay, so Paula has a melee attack. She also has some good fr uh, psi abilities. Freeze Alpha is really, really fucking useful. Uh, I could also use anything that's in her inventory or have her defend in the event that she couldn't do anything or have her prey. Uh, prey is very, very random usually not very effective. It's kind of a desperation move most of the time. Yeah, damage the teddy bear. Do some damage to the mole playing rough. We get that down. That teddy bear is going to get destroyed pretty soon. Okay, so how many levels will Paula gain right here? Paul's level is now level two. Hit point went up. Paul's number level three. And she now has Fire Alpha. Now she's level four. And she went up to level five just in that one fight. Yeah, it does not take her long to start picking up some levels here. Sizing up the situation. It always feels strange when it tries to do that. It's essentially a self-confuse. Ah, now she did four points of damage instead of one. That's a lot of damage to the teddy bear. But that would have killed Paula outright. Paula's oh, level's now six. And she now has a Psy Shield. Okay. We surely shall see the sunshine soon. God damn it, Warhammer. <laughs> I didn't even notice. I was like, what? <laughs> Great, now I know what to title this on YouTube. We play Earthbound and get trolled by Warhammer and his tongue twisters. Mr. Batty A and Mr. Batty B. Oh, nice. Wow, 175 damage. That's our right. Wow, nice job, Paula. Wow, she smashed it and still didn't kill it, though. But it's going to die here. All right, so already she's becoming reasonably effective in combat. And Paula's level went up by seven. So we haven't had a fight yet where she didn't gain a level. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Ah, there we go. That's technically a fight where Paula didn't gain a level. Great charm inside. Okay, well, what is that great charm? Sure, we'll have her equipped a great charm. That's how it works. Yeah, we'll have her with that with the great charm. Not really sure what it does, but protects you from paralysis attacks. Also, it adds a bit of speed. Oh, well, that being the case, what I should do give that Paula. 
give that to Ness because we'd rather his speed be higher. That's better. Okay, better management. You now the Mr. Baddies came back, but we want, we actually want them for XP purposes now. Now there's a dagger goes to Teddy Bear. It was nice while it lasted. It acted cute and Paula couldn't defeat it anymore. <laughs> you could have Eddie edited for your uh, for your YouTube channel. Was that supposed to be a tongue twister or? You could have Eddie edited it for your YouTube channel. Oh, okay. You're messing with me more. Got it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> ah, now she has Thunder Alpha. Perfect. Actually, we're gonna give we'll give that to Paula. Oh, you know what? We'll give her the exit mouse too. Also going to give her I think we'll give her the Franklin badge that way at least she doesn't have to worry about lightning attacks she's very squishy so this is where we came down oh, fine we'll fight you yeah we can always just buy another teddy bear they just cost money that expensive but they do take up an inventory slot good yeah attack Ness don't attack Paula there we go excellent all right and just like that we're now having fights where Paula doesn't get any levels anymore We'll still power level her pretty quick, though. Uh, yeah, the mole playing rough. This boy has to go first. That can, that can hit us a lot harder. I remember the Mr. Baddies are more affected by fire than freeze. Oh, well, oh shit. But we'll still do a decent amount of damage to it. Fuck it. Yeah, Paula's psychic attacks are much better than her melee attacks. Much better. But, I mean, they're, they're, they're you know, they're psychically powered, so I gotta monitor her uh, side points a lot more rigorously than I do my own. Ah, uh, yeah, let's go get that. Let's go get that gift. Yep. She sells seashells by the seashore. I've, luckily, I've got practice with that one. <clears throat> Damn it. So she lost her turn. All right, fine. Fuck it. We'll just attack. Oh my god. Well, that worked. <laughs> it's nice when they defeat each other. Made my day. <laughs> you know, sometimes it is just about the little things. I'm definitely going to want to heal after this fight. There we go. Paula's level 10. All right. Yeah, she's not too bad. I love this type of ambient creepy music, too. I will take the croissant. Probably was not worth doubling back for, but right. I wanted to life up before doing that. That's all right. 
Whatever. She continues to do better. Not great, but better for uh, longer fights that ends up adding up. That's a fucking bear. That's better. Yeah, she's gotten hit once, but not that big a deal. <clears throat> yeah, now I will definitely do fire. Yep, that hurts. Problem is Paula is just so... Damn it. Fine. We got rid of that guy. Um, yeah, have her heal. <laughs> wow, they're just doing it to each other. That's funny. Good. We'll now go back to normal. And that one's dead. Well, tame. Okay, here's... Oh. You know New York. You need New York. You know you need unique New York. Granted, I didn't say it all that fast, but that doesn't sound like it'd be all that hard. You know you know... Her. Oh, yeah. Yeah, once you start speeding it up. <laughs> it, it, it ends. <clears throat> wow, it hit himself. Oh, and it just didn't work on him. Nice. Fuck you, looking cute. <laughs> ah, Ness gained a level. Excellent. Ah, Flash is good. Flash Alpha is nice. Fine. Baddie's sizing up the situation. I used to play this every couple of years when I had it. And when my Super Nintendo worked. So I've got... I, I've, I, for the most part, I have a pretty good familiarity with it. It's just, it's been a while. It's been 11 years since I've played it. Based, best I can kind of tell and remember. So some of it's a little fuzzy, but... I think it's all going to come back. There we go. Good follow. Learning. Leveling up. Good. Now she has freeze beta. That we're going to need. Oh, no, no, no. I don't. Oh, fuck it. We'll fight the bear. We'll fight the fucking bear. Mighty bear. And this thing is a mighty bear, too. Yeah, we're, we're definitely doing freeze beta on you, buddy. There we go. Nice job, Paula. Anyway, post gained 300 XP. Okay. Bear. A mighty bear. Yeah, playing Gears of War last night, there was stuff I didn't remember, like that fucking theater battle. So, so I... I was on the couch, but I passed the hell out. By the time I woke up, uh, you had already raided out to Darkstar, and I'm like, what the fuck? Did I miss it? So I, I took like a good old two-hour power nap last night. It was pretty brutal. <laughs> I probably don't need freeze beta here. Oh, no! Okay, so we'll try that. But yep, we're just going to freeze again. Good. All right, it's time to use an exit mouse. It's time to use an exit mouse because it happened. It happened. Ness is homesick. Right before we're about to do something where we really need. Oh, you guys beat it. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm going to end up going through and watching the VOD. Uh, yep, there it is. 
There it is. <laughs> See, I could. Uh, let's cruise over here, and we're going to use the exit mouse. We called her not all that long ago, but... So, I have a hypothesis with this game. It doesn't really matter how much you call your mom. At some point, it randomly will just kick in. Hello, Ness. What's wrong? You sound so sad, because one time I was playing the game, and I'm pretty sure I had just called her. And then I get into like two fights and he generates homesickness. And I'm like, I just called her. <laughs> um, now, who knows? Maybe it was a bug and it wasn't supposed to happen, but it's, it's it's anyway. But yeah, I did call her somewhat recently, but I don't think I did it right before going in here. But anyway, who sounds so sad? Are you homesick? Well, I knew there would be days like this. It must make you feel better listening to your mom's sweet voice. So do you feel any better? Well, I better get going. I'm in the middle of my ironing. Bye. And next, got over being homesick. All right, so that's it for that. Let's uh, let's recharge. We'll go over here. We'll sleep, and then we'll try that again. Thanks for walking right in my way, lady. Not not that big a deal. Not a big deal. Yep, we'll stay. Perfect. But I do try to do that fairly often. He still gets... He still gets homesick sometimes. You know what it probably is? It's probably a random type of thing, but also a meter. So even if you do call her, it still can technically proc. I was probably just unlucky that particular time. Let's see. Yeah, when Ness misses home, he is useless. Utterly fucking useless. Good. Yeah, let's get to Lily Put Steps. And then that's probably going to be it for me on this stream. Uh, because I've got my PT appointment that is coming up pretty soon. Um, but I do want to get to Lily Put Steps first. I want to do that. Just in case we die here. I'd rather not lose that money. Because these fights do get pretty... do get pretty intense. The Titanic Ant was just the beginning. Alright. Try this again. Oh, come on. Damn, they're fast. It's all right, it ended up being good for us. It'll be good for Paula to get some XP before getting to that boss. Should be it for that, yep, should be it for that. Excellent, most excellent. Good deal, oh, you, uh, you, you taken off? I mean, I'm still gonna be on for a while. I'm gonna try and get the Lily put steps first. But yeah, if, uh, if work calls, I will talk to you approximately later. Uh, man, that thing does so much damage. Let's see. Um, I want to go down this way. No, no, not yet. Not yet. I'm just looking at the time. I think I've got a good half hour before I have to kind of head out. And that should give me more than enough time to, uh, to get to the boss of this. It should. It should. <laughs> Man, they love doing that. Damn it. Oh, they keep making Paula back off. <laughs> uh, all right well fine let's just bash it then yeah that works for me stop hitting yourself stop hitting yourself <laughs> yeah, 
continues to gain levels. Ooh, and she got 14 side points. That is helpful. She needs to pick up as many side points as possible. Couldn't get around the bear. Mighty bear. And now it dies. 284 damage. Perfect. And this time we're gonna... Oh. oh, good. Magic butterfly. Sweet. Yeah, we just... She could kill the bear outright with that. Now, granted, it's an expensive thing, but she can. Come on. Give, give me, give me, give me. Here, here. Fight the bear if I can avoid it. Oh my god, I can't avoid that. <laughs> All right, well we have to fight one bear then. Ness is gonna go after the bat. After the bear. Is that bear? If it hits you, god damn, does that hurt? And it feels strange. Ah, oh, good. We're already doing in the 40s now with damage. It is what it is. Okay. Then we can ambush the mole playing roughs. Alright, Paula. Yeah, alright. Well, tried. I think at this point, if she hits it, it kills it. Nah. Eh. Well, that works for me. Let's find out. Nope. Actually. Mm, yes. I think it's close now. Yep, perfect. Good. That was a better use of my action economy. Yeah, I tried to get my physical therapy appointment moved, but they couldn't, uh, they just didn't have any openings. So I'm like, all right. That's just a dead end. That's just a dead end with enemies. Ooh, we'll ambush the bear. The mole playing rough and its cohort. All right, I need to life up Paula. Or if we have a croissant or something. Oh, right. I was even back in town. I should have gotten the croissant. Completely forgot. Yeah, please be absent-minded and don't attack. There we go. 156. Boom. Smash. There we go. Ness is gaining levels too in here. Sweet. Thank you. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Free XP. We'll take that. Let's see. That's pretty significant. Okay. okay. Let's try this, gang. Finally got here. This is the second your sanctuary location. It's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. Well, 
I remember correctly, Paralysis Mondo Mole. Yep. Mondo Mole's bodies became numb. All right. Well, we just won this fight. So anyway, um, yeah, when it's paralyzed, it can't recover from that. It can't move. It's just going to be there until it runs out of HP. So uh, yeah, uh, so far I had an awesome birthday. Yeah, but it can't move, so it it's no threat. <laughs> so I want to thank everybody for coming out and hanging out with me today. This has been fun. <laughs> Yeah, I could put up a psychic shield, but what the what yeah, it, it can't do anything genuinely dangerous to me. Uh we'll still have to back out. We'll probably get some XP on the way out of this cave. Uh as we kind of get ready for things. I wonder who's on. Um because we'll definitely want to raid out to somebody. Actually, this might be the first time I might be able to raid out to Arcus if he's streaming. Oh, bastard. Whatever. <laughs> wow, Paul is like going ape shit on this thing. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my god, they're both going ape shit on it. All right, yeah, it's over. <laughs> uh, can't always cheese things like that, but it's nice when we can. Oh wow, wait, that's a lot of XP we just got. All right, Paula just got to level 14, and Paula got to level 15. Ooh, and her offense went up a lot more too. And now she has magnets, so now she can do that bullshit thing where she sucks away uh, side points from enemies. Sweet. Lily put steps. Ness briefly had a vision of a baby in a red cap. Nessa's soundstone recorded the melody of the Lily footsteps. All right, so we have picked up two sanctuary locations in our first stream for Earthbound. And I will be playing, even though this was kind of like a birthday special event type of thing for me to stream during the day uh, and play Earthbound. But, um, yeah, fuck it. Whatever. Sure. These guys will do that and we'll fuck them up with the fire. Now we can actually hit them with fire. Now that they're not stopping her each time. But now they'll die in each hit. Wow, you managed to do damage to me. That's super lame. Wow. Both of you managed to hit me. Come on, Ness. You can't miss. Really, guys? You're killing me here, you two. Now, in this game, I don't think Psy attacks can miss. So that's one advantage of using Psy attacks. Like, unlike Persona, where you can, you know, use a magic attack and it can still miss. Oh, wow, outfits went up by five. That's awesome. Whoa, HP went up by 28. Fuck yeah. And we got a better life up boost. Sweet. We go uh, around this way. Yep. Yeah, we'll just head around this way. See so yeah, with the time. I'm really not that pressed for time, actually, but... But this is a good place to kind of start to wrap things up. I like this queen. Especially when it's free. What is the status of these guys? Anyway. Ness has got a while before he levels up, and even Paula's got a lot while before she levels up. So Ness is level 20, and Paula's level 15. All right, so she's reasonably leveled at this point. I mean, she's obviously lower than Ness, but she can... She's adequately leveled to hang uh, hang with me now with, uh, with what we're going to be dealing with. All right, so yeah, let's, uh, do I try to get back to Tucson here? now? I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna save here. We're still in pretty decent shape. I mean, we lost a couple of HP, but 
Oh, well, okay. Paula could probably use a little bit of health here. Eat a cookie. Paula. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Okay. Got the receiver. Let us save the game. Now it's 3,000 in the bank. Nice. Record. All right. And we will end. We're a great team, aren't we? Well, you should turn the power off instead of just pressing reset. All right. And at that point, the game hangs. <laughs> so yeah, badass. That was a fun, 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 fun uh, Earthbound stream. Uh, use vocal warm-up exercise to prepare the voices before going in air. Most are using tongue twisters. So um, yeah, I, I mean, I didn't know broadcasters use tongue twisters, but um, one of the things I like to do before uh, I go live, at least on this, or I, I know I'm going to be on the air for a while, is I'll do uh, humming, or I'll either do humming or I'll do scales. So, you know, we're starting real low. And then granted, at this point, I'm pretty thirsty. So if I did a scale, it wouldn't be all that great. But you start really low, you know, in the deep, deep, deep range. You're like, <laughs> Now, granted, I did it. I kind of went, I kinda, that was lazy. I kind of went right through it. But essentially, that's a scale. And it allows your voice to kind of warm up. And scales are good, especially if you're trying to increase your vocal range. And uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, let's 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 start wrapping this up. Uh, let's fire on into the ending stream part. This was super fun. I love Earthbound. Uh, Earthbound is like one of the greatest games ever made. Um, and again, depending on on when you ask me, I would still probably tell you Earthbound is my favorite RPG of all time. Um, oh, I see Aussie's on. You know what? Let's let's raid out to her. Um, that's always a good time. Got to support our fellow small streamers and other other streamers starting to grow. So this will be this will be fun. Uh, she is a little vulgar. Uh, so for anybody that might be, a, you know, if that's not your cup of tea, uh, <laughs> then may I may I recommend Arcus, <laughs> who is probably doing more Ninja Gaiden uh, work warm ups. Uh, I will be back on on Sunday, most likely. And we're going to play some more East. Uh, East is, is a fantastic series. And we'll be doing that. And I don't think... I don't think we got anything crazy going on in Oath of Felgana. But, uh... But yeah, I want to thank everybody for coming out for my birthday, making it help help make it a fun time. Uh, this was this was a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun playing Earthbound with people than just playing it on my lonesome. So, uh, so yeah, this was fun. I'm glad I took the day off to be extra lazy. And now I get to go to uh, my physical therapists and uh, we get to do some more neck stretches and other types of crazy things that they invent. And uh, every so often they get creative. So I will uh, happily await whatever their sadistic minds have in store for me. And as far as, oh, and uh, Freakbot, I will see you at Duffy's uh, as soon as I get out of there. But in any event, yeah, as far as the rest of things, I will see you guys later. Absolutely, turtles fucking rule, Warhammer. I will see you guys approximately later. Have a great weekend, and I'll catch you up on as uh, as it starts wrapping up here on Sunday night for more East Oath of Fulgana. And until next time, later. <laughs>